Water Valley Blue Devil football kicks off now. Today's game is brought to you by Turnage Drug Store, Farm Bureau Insurance, Magnolia Eye Group, Midtown Auto Parts, Bank First Water Valley, Valley Tool Incorporated, Tommy Defer Law Office, PLLC, State Farm Insurance, CW White Incorporated, Black & Associates, PA, Luke's Body Shop, Horan & Horan, PLLC, Yellowbushy General Hospital and Nursing Home, Seven Oaks Funeral Home, and Crow Martin, PLLC. And now with all the play-by-play, -play, here's Steve Lindsay and Rick Jenkins. Good evening, Blue Devil fans, and welcome to the 2024 version of the uh, Water Valley football season. I mean, last year was a little bit of a rebuilding year uh, for the Devils, you want to say, because Coach Faust came in and, and uh, Coach Embry exited, and uh, it was kind of a little rebuilding year for the Devils. They learned a lot under the new management, and uh, they struggled a lot, And uh, but... Man, it was good, good work because after watching the spring or the, the, the scrimmage game last week, I was really, really, imp or let me say, excited about what our potential is for this season. Yeah, I was, I was surprised at, at seeing the, some of the movement in the players on the team. You know, there's going to be some surprises tonight, some guys playing some different positions, and We'll get into that a little bit further, but uh, I think people are starting to settle into some spots that uh, Coach Faust is, uh, you know, these these players that played previous, and now they, they're playing some new positions, and they looked pretty good last week playing them. We, we're going to see some uh, uh, some uh, different faces out there tonight, and uh, we're going to see some old faces in different places. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a fun night tonight. I'm Steve Lindsay. Rick Jenkins is the voice you just heard, and Bob Murphy is the mastermind behind the whole thing. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we put this thing on every year, and it's a blast. And uh, man, I'm looking down on the field right now, and I'm looking at uh, Donovan and uh, a couple other boys that have just gotten huge. They have big and strong. Yeah. Dez Campbell and uh, Burris, and uh, man, look, Donovan looks like he put on third, 30 pounds. He is a beast out there. Yeah, and he, I told him last week, you know, he picked up a fumble or something last week, and, and no one could tackle him. I said, give it to him five times a night just to see what happens. Yeah, he's, he's put on some weight uh, in the right places, and uh, he's got a frame to carry it. And uh, he's projected to be a, a, a pick by some college around here, university maybe. So it's going to be an exciting time to watch him play this year. And Dez, he's – He's grown some, and the, the guys have filled out, you know. Sure has filled out, and, you know, they, they those, those boys are – they're uh, ready to play ball tonight. So, I know last last year Independence had their number, and we've been beating Independence there for a while, but maybe we can turn the favor this year and win one here at home opening game. Yeah, quarterback. We, we are at home tonight uh, against Independence. Independence used to be coached by Coach Russo, our, our defensive coordinator, uh, a few years ago. And uh, Russo made his way back to Water Valley, and we're happy to have him. And uh, I'm telling you what, he runs a little bit of a, a tough defense for the kid. But once they learn it, man, I'm going to tell you what, I think he can shut pretty much anybody down with the talent that we have. And I don't know if the kids believe it, but we can shut anybody down. We've got – We've got talent this year. They just got to be. They got to earn the confidence now. That's right. They got. They got to play. Play a couple of games. Get the confidence in the positions that they're playing, and 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 just learn on the job. Well, the the Devils and the uh, the Wildcats are perfect on the season so far. Uh, both teams are 0 and 0, no losses. So it's good. Somebody tonight will have a, a loss, and somebody will have a win and, and a perfect season going. Yep. And that's crazy. But. Uh, First games to me were always tricky, Rick. Every year, it doesn't matter who the best team is; it matters who makes the least amount of mistakes. Yeah, you're correct there. And in high school football, one or two mistakes can turn a game very easy. All right, so we'll we'll take a break real quick. When we get back, it'll be time for Bob to give us a rundown of the history between the two schools. You're watching Blue Devil football. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan and Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. 
They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact attorneys Kevin Horan, Brad Daganoff, Jimmy Powell, or Payne Horan at 226-2185. Or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. As a hometown bank, Bank First is proud to offer top-notch banking products with perks that support local businesses and people who support their communities. We believe our towns, no matter the size, deserve the best, the best products and the best customer service, an experience we all deserve. We're hometown banking at its best. Do you bank with us? You should. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. The first game of the 2024 season between the Blue Devils and the Independence uh, Wildcats. It is time for Bob to give us a rundown of the history between the two schools. Bob, we played them lately a few times. Uh, we have over the years. As a matter of fact, uh, going back to the 60s, this is the 48th meeting between wow. the Devils and Wildcats. First meeting was on October the 11th, 1968. Independence won 19 to 7. Last meeting took place last year on August 25th. Wildcats winning that one 38 to 7. Water Valley leads the uh, series here in the Valley 15-91. Also leads the overall series 30-16-1. The Blue Devils have shut out the Tate County Schools seven times in the series. Water Valley has dominated the series since 1987 with a 27 and 5 record against the Wildcats. The uh, two teams were members of the Trial Lake Conference from 1972 to 1976. Six Rick uh, remembers a little bit about that. And uh, as you just mentioned, Water Valley defensive coach Richard Russo served as the Wildcat head coach from 2013 to 2019. And how the Devils fared on this date in history, August 30th, 4-1 and one and 0. So hopefully to make it 5-1. and one. That first game there in 1968, my brother played in it. He was a senior, and he got his knee tore up in that game. Ouch. So we, we kind of always remember that as a family. Wow. Yeah, I was trying to look. I thought you said our home record was something in one. I, I, I wasn't counting the losses. That was a tie. We yeah, had one tie. Uh-huh. Wow, I hate ties. Man, I just don't believe in them. But <laughs> well, that, uh, we've only had one tie. Since 1990, and that, believe it or not, was against Coffeyville, early 90s. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Water Valley is still, want to let everybody know, we're still in 2 2 A with uh, Bruce Calhoun City and MS Palmer. All right. So, uh, right now, we'll take a break, and when we come back, it'll be time to kick this season off. You're watching Blue Devil Football. There was a time when integrity really mattered. At Farm Bureau Insurance, it still does. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. See agents Bradley Brown, Chuck Upchurch, and Brad Emery. Seven Oaks Funeral Home has been a tradition in Yalabusha County for over a century. A full-service funeral home with an outstanding and friendly staff. Seven Oaks offers that extra touch with a celebration of life memorial tribute video and custom-made bulletins. Lock in today's prices. Speak with one of their many pre-need counselors. Stop by or call 473-2363. Seven Oaks Funeral Home at the intersection of Highways 7 and 32. All right, folks, we are back. It is time to kick this season off. Man, Rick, I'm just looking across, and I thought Independence would bring a heck of a lot more fans than what they did. I yeah, mean, for I, a, they, for they, a they won their game not that far away. They won their district last year, didn't they? I think so. Yeah, you'd think they would have a big crowd over there tonight, but I guess they didn't want to leave uh, Buck Snort uh, unattended up there. Yeah, so. they must be having to wash the wash the houses tonight or something. <laughs> well. Tyler Richardson would be out there. He, You know, he had Tommy John surgery not too long ago. Yeah. He can't play quarterback, but he's going to take on other roles this season and uh, hopefully stay healthy. Yeah, he's got that that brace on his arm, and uh, he's, he's moving it pretty freely. But, uh, you know, you, you have to give him credit being out there after Damn. having Tommy John surgery. Yes, sir. It looks like Gabe Butler will tee it up. And, uh, well, let's see. Tyler may kick. I don't know. They both are listed as kickers, so. Yeah. Well, they get the tee out there. Yeah. 
All right. Looks like Gabe's going to tee it up on the far hash. And uh, referee hands the ball to old Gabe. And I remember, uh, yeah, Senatobia was not a bad team last year, and I'm, I'm kind of anxious to see what they're going to what they're going to have in store for us tonight. They've got a bit. They've got some pretty good numbers over there on that far sideline as far as players go. But uh, they they pretty much match us, you know. Yeah, for a two A school, we uh, I think we're one of the largest two A's, and that's the reason we go back and forth across the line from two to three every uh, couple of years, four years. Okay, he puts a boot in it near side, down to about the uh, 12 yard line. Picked up by number four for Independence. He takes it far side. Oh, two of our guys just tried to make tackle, ran into each other. Mm. He got it up uh, uh, across the 40 yard line to the 42. So that's where the Independence Wildcats will start their first drive is their own 42 yard line. We just didn't have any containment on that side over there. And a couple of our guys ran into each other, knocked each other both out of the play. Yep, yep. But I think he had already gotten too many yards at that point. We didn't have really good pursuit angles on the far side of that uh, kickoff coverage line. Our uh, last year's quarterback's playing nose guard right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, Donovan oh, gets hold. through and gets him to – oh, he, man, he scrambled back to the line of scrimmage. But he did a great job to do he that because Donovan got through and got a hand on him and just – he bear-pawed him down. Yeah, he got on his all threes, the running back did. and uh, I'm not so uh, sure that knee didn't touch somewhere I, back there. You I know? was wondering if he didn't go down about the 40-yard line, but they give him right at the 42. Yeah. So, right, right back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, no gain on first down, second and 10. All right, Devils jump right up. We got our – yeah, yeah, there you go. And a guy like no, oh, nice pursuit right there by the Devil DBs and safeties and Donovan can move to be as big as he is. He, yes, he, he can. That lateral movement, he got down the line and helped out on that tackle over there. Lost well, about three yards. Well, what he's doing every play, he's. Got, I hope he realizes that every play is going to be under the microscope this year. Yep. Every play is going to be reviewed by somebody. <laughs> they don't want to see the good plays. They want to see the bad plays. The colleges do. Yeah. Third and about 13. Quarterback goes back to pass. He's got a guy over the middle, kind of open, but he overthrew him. That's good news for us. And that'll be fourth and 13 and a punt upcoming. Yeah, three downs, and they lost three yards in the process, fourth and 13. That, uh, let's see what the Blue Devil offense can do now. Well, we got to field this punt first. <laughs> we have – <laughs> Let's field the punt and secure the possession first. <laughs> that is going to be number six, Darion Gale, back to uh, receive the punt. We got flag whistles and flags thrown right at the snap. Procedure. Ah, oh, illegal procedure. Yeah. I'll start back them up five more. That snap, know. snap was a little high, even though it was a penalty and it wasn't a play. But uh, yeah. Blue Devils might be able to put some heat on here and. Well, Gale is a freshman, and uh, I haven't heard too much out of him. I don't remember a whole lot from last year about him. Uh, so let's hope he uh, gets this punt clean. Oh, uh -oh, straight up in the air. Straight up in the air. Going to bounce backwards. Going to hit at the 40 and go there, backwards. There it goes. There it goes. Uh-oh. No, touch, touch, it. touch it. Touch it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Thank you. Good job, Tyler. <laughs> Yeah, Russo is going nuts, and, and rightly so. Uh, just stand there. Let it go. Let the play be blown dead by the official. Yeah. That was strange. I don't think I've ever seen that in my – Well, it made the line of scrimmage. So, it, it made the yeah. line of scrimmage. So, it's a, uh, it was a live ball. Now, if it goes backwards, it's still an offensive ball. So you got to leave it alone. If they pick it up, it's dead right there. All right, great field position for Water Valley on their first possession. Slot left, Butler in the slot. Uh-oh, fumble on the snap. We just dove on it. That was number one. Zay Bradford just dove on it along with Trey. Mm. Trey Adams. First, first snap jitters right there, Rick. Yep, that's right. 
do something with it this time. Just noticed uh, Richardson was at the H back, went from nose guard to H back. Yeah. All right, Trey handles this one clean, hands it off to Bradford right side. He gets a few yards, still going on his feet. Oh, they finally get him at about the 25 yard line, 26, 24. Yeah, he made a spin there and somebody's he got, hurt. 53. Got Peyton Chandler. Peyton Chandler is down for Water Valley. Hopefully he's okay. Uh, man, looks like they're going to be looking at him for at least a minute or so. Let's take a break and come back and catch you up whenever we come back from commercial. You're watching Blue Devil Football. C.W. White Incorporated of Water Valley is a wholesale supplier of quality fuels, lubricants, greases, and other oil products, all at reasonable prices. Put your trust in a family-owned and operated company that is committed to your success. For nearly eight decades, C.W. White has been serving North Mississippi with a vast range of products. Proudly supports Water Valley High School athletics and academics. Wishing the Blue Devils the best this and every season. Go Blue Devils! At Yalabusha General Hospital, we're not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We're not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. All right, folks, we're back. It looks like the, they're bringing our guy Peyton Chandler off the field with a limp on his left ankle. So, But he is kind of putting some weight on it. That's good news so far. Uh, hope he gets better soon. All right, so the Devils now have third and about four on uh, their own uh, – on the uh, Wildcat 24-yard line. Need to get to the 20. Trey's going to keep it himself. He gets hit at the 22 and brought down there. It'll be fourth and about two at that point. And I'm sure Coach uh, Coach Faust isn't going to even hesitate. We're going to pull the trigger on running that <laughs> that running play somewhere. We could probably go heavy package. If, if you know, run behind Donovan and uh, maybe they, Big 59, Braden Gray. They split everybody out. Put. Uh, uh, trying to get a hard count right there. They put Gabe in motion, so he's on the slot. He's a slot on the right side. They hand it off to Zay Bradford. He's got the first down inside the 15 to about the 13-yard uh, line. Good run. He had some uh, had some people put some hands on him as he went through the hole, but he's able to keep his feet and gain a few more yards down inside. The I like how he 15. grips that ball. Yeah, he's, he's got good. both hands on it coming through the uh, the hit zone. I told the kids this morning uh, and all week, I said, man, I am super excited about you guys. Y'all are better than y'all think. Trip's right for the Devils right now. We had a guy jump for the uh, Wildcats. Let's see if it's going to – yeah, it'll be encroachment offside on the uh, Wildcats. That'll give us five yards first and ten. I mean, first and five. Yeah, we're going to be down to about the eight-yard line. Just outside the eight. All right, first and five for the Devils inside the 10-yard line. Trey is going to move it himself to the right. He gets hit on about the seven inside the five. He down to about the four-yard line. Nice run right he there. He made a good pirouette run running around that end. Yeah. Like a guy's fixing to cut back on him and tackle him. He give him, give him the leg. He was holding that pirouette and then managed to get out another three or four yards. So. Oh, I love this. Second and half a yard. Man, yeah. the, the whole playbook is opening to anything. Usually yeah. this is where you punch it in, but uh, – you get a first down inside the you get a first, four yard yeah. line. Just keep moving forward, Devil. Trey hands it off to uh, Buford. Buford gets tied up at the line of scrimmage. He fought, but he lost a yard, maybe two. No gain on that. Well, let's see, loss of about two. So it'll be third and about two and a half. Call it two. 
We hadn't come to the left side with anything yet. We got the wide side over here, so. Well, that guy got in the backfield, pushed one of our guys in the backfield and kind of disrupted the play right there. They stacked in there on the defense. Trey's going to hand it, it to Bradford, side. near side. He's in. Touchdown, Devil. I was wondering he's going to come this left side. And Just had to keep, keep tricking him to the right, huh? So with the seven-minute mark in the first quarter, the Devils, Trey Bradford punches it in for a, uh, call it a six, seven-yard touchdown run. Uh, it, yeah, it, we were well, six yeah, yards. Six yards. Six yard. yeah. Gabe Butler to come on and try the extra point. Tyler Richardson to hold. Hold is down, kick is up, and good. All right, so the Devils take an early 7 to nothing lead. We'll take a break and be back for kickoff after this. Complete body repair. They do headliner replacement, vinyl top replacement, air conditioner repair, lockout service, and most any other body repair your vehicle would need. Luke's Body Shop has 24-hour towing, free estimates for any job. Ask about their coast-to-coast -coast carports, buildings, and garages. When you're in need of body repair, take your vehicle to Luke's Body Shop, South Main Street in Water Valley. Open weekdays, 8 till 5. You may have heard of us, but you might not know Bank First is a community bank that has no fee ATM access, interest, and perks earning checking accounts with online and mobile banking. Mortgages for every stage of life. And modern business banking for businesses, small and big. We keep it all together to put you first. Do you bank with us? You should. Water Valley 7, Independence 0, early in the first quarter. Seven minutes to go. It's five. We're at the five-minute end mark. We're fi only five minutes into the, into the game. Gabe has set this ball up, ready to kick it off again. Looks like he's coming near side again. He does. It's a good fast rotation on that down to the 10-yard uh, line. Their guy's just kind of playing around, waiting to see if a hole develops and nothing happened, and we're going to tackle him about the 21, 22-yard line. Yeah, he just kind of stopped, waiting for some blocking to develop, and it never developed. Never did happen. Yeah. So second defensive uh, stand here for the Devils. Let's see how it goes. I see Azarian, Azarian Bug, we call him Bug. He's out there on defense this go round. Yeah, I look for him probably to come out and throw some more passes. They had that guy in the open a while ago. They just overthrew him and that looked for him to test us a little bit more, probably with a few passes. We've got talent this year. That's what I was trying to tell them. They just got to be confident. We've got talent. We got speed in the backfield. Safeties and uh, DBs. And we got guys, you know, on the line that's got experience. You know, last oh, year we yeah. just had one senior. Well, Burris has been playing since he was in the fourth grade. Yeah, at linebacker. <laughs> nice. Good pursuit right there by the Devils. Only about a yard gain right there by the uh, Wildcats. Yeah, it looked like he's going to break out to the sidelines, but uh, the pursuit caught up with him, so the Devils were able to hit him in the end with just a, a that, yard gain. That may be the biggest change this year so far how fast we are getting to the edges. We're, we're a little bit faster getting out there on defense. All right, second and nine. Slot left, slot right for the Wildcats. Watch that quick slant. Quarterback's looking, looking to go over the middle. Oh, no, he's going down deep down the sideline. That may be picked off. Oh, oh drop. Oh, my goodness. It was the ball was dropped by Kamari Page. That was just too easy to catch there. I mean, he played it. He played the ball, not the man, and and that was perfect. He he went up to the highest point and got it. I think that receiver just maybe knocked it out right at the last second. Nonetheless, good coverage. But he did give up a step. I wish he'd have been a little bit closer. If that ball would have been thrown a little bit tighter, it might yeah. be a different story. Yeah, if he if he could have got, it looked like he threw it more up than down the field and. Yeah, yeah. All right, third and nine for the Wildcats. Slot left, slot right. We're going to walk up 
on this on the near side. We're going to bump him. It looks like he's trying to throw it deep. Across the middle, overthrew it. Oh, and he almost threw that yeah. to uh, Channing Freeman. Yeah, Freeman's playing uh, center field back there, free safety, and he was almost got him a one to return for a quick yeah. six. Shoot, yeah. So the uh, Wildcats six and out, you know, <laughs> three and out, and then six and you know, so three and three. Uh, okay, so Page is back deep for the uh, Blue Devils, or Gale, sorry. I'd put some more heat on that punter. He, uh, I'd, I'd come on up if I was Gale. Oh, we just jumped offside. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's okay. It was fourth and fourth and uh, nine, so that'll be, make it about fourth and five, fourth and four. Don't need to do it again, though. Maybe it was on them. Let's see if they move first and that. No, they're going to say it was us. Ooh. Yeah, that's about right. All right, so here we go. Round two of Don't punt. Jump. All right. Oh. High snap. Oh, that one was was it blocked? Was it blocked? Oh, Donovan got it. But the problem is, did we – if we got a hand on the, the – referee threw a flag. We got a hand on the ball. If we got a piece of the ball, you can hit the kicker. If we didn't get a – yeah, that's what – oh, my goodness. They're going to say we didn't hit hit the ball. So, that might just be a penalty on us, roughing the kicker. Personal foul, roughing the kicker. Wow, that will give that uh, a Independence point. a first down. I don't know how to go back and see that in slow-mo and see if we got a hand on it. Well, everybody was around him, but you just couldn't tell if he if he kicked it straight up like he did last time or was it touched. <laughs> Either way, that's, the call is going to be the call, so it will be first down Wildcats. <laughs> and defense will stay out. That'll bring the ball up to their 41 and a half, 42 yard line, call it. And we have official timeout for the uh, the refreshment break, so we'll take a break with them and be back after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Previously named Tri-Lake Eye Clinic, Magnolia Eye Group has been a pillar of the community for two generations. As a family, they've been dedicated to providing comprehensive support to help you and your loved ones protect and preserve your eyes and vision. Magnolia Eye Group takes an innovative approach to eye care using technology to provide a comprehensive overview of your needs. Start your experience with Magnolia today and request an appointment. Locations in Water Valley, Holly Springs, and Senatobia. All right, folks, we're back after the uh, roughing the kicker penalty. Independence will have the ball on their own 42-yard line. First down, first and 10. Slot left, slot right. Blue Devil defense has been pretty tight. We've just messed up on the, the one punt. So they say, end of round. And, uh, man, he kind of made a little move, froze the line, and then we got a flag coming. Oh, no. I think we had a hole. Yeah, hold it. Donovan's kind of holding his shoulder, left shoulder a little bit. I think he's all right, though. Yeah, Coach Mix is giving him some direction on yeah, something. He's good. Yeah, he's telling him to quit getting up high and get low. you got to do the hard work. Get low. Lower your center of gravity and use your power and your leverage. It don't matter how big you are if you don't get low, lower right. than the other guy. All right, first and 20 for the Wildcats now. Trips left, single right, single back, looking to Got throw. Got a guy coming across the middle. He throws it across the middle. It's yep. caught. Oh, he should have been cleaned up. That's going to get him about a 12, 13-yard gain up to about the 45-yard line. It'll be second and about seven. Linebacker should have got a little depth there and got a hand on it. It looked like it. they were, but they, they just didn't react to the ball. They kind of waited to see what happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they didn't go to it. As 
we had guy on each side of him, and he kind of ran in the middle, stopped, caught the ball, and then we were like, oh, you got it. All right, handoff number three going left side, and he got hit immediately. Come back. He shucked a couple of tackles. Hold. Hold. Hold Two another hold. He's still on his feet. I don't think he's going to he, outrun Dez, though. Dez had him wrapped up, and then uh, <laughs> six guys came in and finished him off. But there's two flags down. That was going backwards. It's like some kind of rugby match here for a while. A scrum. <laughs> but there was uh, two holds. The uh, quarterback grabbed one guy. Oh, they call face mask on us. Yeah. Face mask on them, offsetting oh. penalties. Offsetting penalties. Face mask on both teams. We played the down. Well, penalties offset second and second seven. All that was was running time off the clock, Rick. I'm about to run down there and drink me some of that Gatorade they got down there on that table. Yeah, it's pretty humid tonight. Man. <laughs> it is humid. Got up in the press box and it was hot. I'm glad they'd already opened it up when we got up here. It's still warm. All right, second and seven. We got slot right, slot left for the Wildcats. Single back. Quarterback looking to throw. He slings it down the middle of the field or down the mm. sideline and it's got a guy wide open. It's going to be a 55 yard touchdown pass to number seven. Goodness. Well, we're, we're, we're staying with them the first 25, and then we're losing them. And I think that's uh, what we got to work on. Every time they've been separating, the, their receivers have been separating from, from us about 25 yards down the field. Got to get on our horse and stay with them. So the Wildcats will line this one up, number 11 on, to kick the extra point. Snap is slow and blocked. Yeah, the kick was blocked. The, the snap was really slow. And uh, Blue Devils came through and blocked it. And so at the 355 mark in the first quarter, Blue Devils seven, Independent six. We'll take a break and be back for kickoff after this. Turnage Drug Store, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnages not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drugstore on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. Seven Oaks Funeral Home has been a tradition in Yalabusha County for over a century. A full-service funeral home with an outstanding and friendly staff, Seven Oaks offers that extra touch with a Celebration of Life memorial tribute video and custom-made bulletins. Lock in today's prices. Speak with one of their many pre-need counselors. Stop by or call 473-2363. Seven Oaks Funeral Home at the intersection of Highways 7 and 32. 7 to 6, first quarter, 3.55 to go in the first. Independence did not make the uh, extra point, so Blue Devils have a one-point lead. The ball, they're going to let the ball hit the ground. Picked up by Gale, and he's up the near sideline. <laughs> he gets it all the way to the 41-yard line, call it, of uh, Independence. Yeah, he cut back from the sideline. Looked like he was just looking for somebody to run over. I wish he'd have, I wish he'd have been a little closer when that ball hit the ground. Yeah. <laughs> scared me. Yeah, you don't know where it's going to go when it gets yeah, on the ground go, like that. It can go backwards. Yeah, you know that that happens quite a bit. Get a lot of backspin on it. Yeah, soccer style kick will come backwards in a minute. All right, Blue Devils second uh, offensive possession. Single right, single left, single back. We're uncovered over here. Bradford's back there with Adams. Uh oh, Richardson runs in late. He's supposed to be at H. We only had 10 out there. That's what looked awful. Hand it off to Bradford right side. He's got a few. Call it three. Yeah, the low snap. Ball was right on the ground. Had to pick it up. Yeah, maybe messed up a little timing. Gain of three on the play. Second down. This, uh, right. this cornerback come off of uh, turnage over here and 
he was he was just all alone. Just hit him with a quick pass. All right, second to seven. High snap tray handles it fine. He comes in over the left guard. And he's going to get three more up to about the 35-yard uh, line. Uh, they're trying to say it's uh, independence ball, but no one saw that. It was uh, He was already down. I mean, anybody can get up from a pile yelling, we got it. Yeah. What? He must have been laying on top of him. They pulled the ball out, but uh, you know his forward motion had stopped. Wow! All right. So <laughs> fumble on the play. will give the ball back to Independence. Wow! Three minutes to play in the uh, first quarter. Been a pretty long quarter so far. A lot of stoppage in play. Devil defense getting set. Uh oh, we got a flag. False start, false start, false start. It's going to be against Independence. That may be a makeup call right there, <laughs> or attempt at one. I didn't see anybody twitch, move, or shutter. Usually they let him get away with so much movement right before the snap every year. Peyton's moving around a little more on the sideline. Still got a little bit of a limp, but he's, he's moving around. All right, looking to throw. Uh -oh. Easy gave chase. Dez is giving chase now. Oh, and he gets out of bounds for about a ooh, three yard, maybe. Well, he got about a six yard gain, but only about it's going to bring up second eight. So call it about a run of seven. Yeah, he run uh, 50 yards to get six. Second eight for uh, Independence. Trips left, single right. They're going to throw it. We've just got a cover downfield. Stay on him. Uh-oh, giving check. Oh, who was that? Easy almost had him. Good mm. pass out here in the flat. We lost our contain. And that's going to be a first down inside Blue Devil territory to the 35. we got to cover longer than just two or three seconds. you got to cover for five to seven seconds. That's right. Got to get more heat on him. He's having to step up in the pocket and scramble around to throw the ball. All right, first down for Independence. Water Valley 35. And then get in here now in four down territory. 2.20 to go in the uh, first quarter. 7 6 your score in favor of the Blue Devils. Single right, single left. That usually means they're going to run it. So he tries to get up the middle. Gets a couple. He's trying to and pull he fell forward for another yard. Goodness gracious. Tore off four on that play. Four and a half, maybe. Almost five. Yeah. Second and six for the Wildcats. Now they're going to go slot left, slot right. Yeah, every time they uh, they bring everybody in, they run. When they're in trips or double slot. Oh, bad snap. <laughs> Quarterback's just going to take it. We had to, oh, wow. Uh-oh, <laughs> that's going to be a flag. Wow. Man. Six flags came out, and there's five refs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you would really call a face mask there. If Wouldn't the helmet look? comes off, yeah, I'm going to say that's an easy call. I think I threw my flag first. <laughs> my dad used to say, if you're going to get a penalty, get a good one. Well, you know. But we don't need hopefully it down there. we're hopefully we're up by thirty when that happens. Yeah, that's right. We're not we're up by Uno. It's not a good one when you're down there. And they're in scoring position. They're in the red zone now. That'll put them in it. 
goodness. Ball on the ground, and we give them. I'm just glad that it's only a 15-yard penalty. You know, if, if they did it like uh, the severity, like if you barely <laughs> touched it, it's three or five, you know. Yeah. If you get it good, it's 15. But if you rip the whole helmet off, it's like 25, you know. I mean, I see that coming one day, you know. It would be a judgment call on the uh, severity of the uh, face mask. And first down and 10 for the Wildcats inside the uh, Blue Devil 20. The 17-yard line. They throw it out, swing pass. Bad, bad, bad. Holding. Goodness gracious, thank you. Yeah, number one was holding. There's two flags on that side. Both yeah. the uh, line guys, girls, threw their flags. Yeah, our, our mistakes and mis miscues, you know, according to penalties, is giving them confidence to play ball. And right, and, and that's exactly that's exactly right. It's just like any other sport. If you're giving your opponent a, a few inches, it gives them, hey, we're okay, you yeah. know. But when you're playing lights out, it suffocates them. And we were early. We were playing lights out early until that until that uh, run into the kicker call. Yep. Man, it's gonna be yeah, ten yards from the spot. He was the uh, receiver out there, and he yeah. held our guy first, five first yards. First up. and twenty-five. Or what is it? No, yeah. something like that. First and third. Uh, first and twenty. Yeah, forty-five seconds to play in the first quarter. Quarterbacks looking Crossing to throw the across the middle. Oh, we got him! Pulled him down. That's number fifty, Donovan. Yeah, he, he's been wanting to get to him all night. He finally yeah. had a chance to sag him. Donovan Wilson. So, Matt, gonna, maybe now they're not in four-down territory. Not so. anymore. Well, yeah, yeah, you're still in four-down. I don't think they got a kicker that can make one past the uh, extra point line. 18 seconds to go in the first quarter. I think that's going to be the last play right there of the first quarter. Independence players are walking off the field. Uh, defense needs to stay. Uh, ref already picked up. Okay, if he picks up the ball, I don't have a problem with him walking off. <laughs> All right, and that's the end of the first quarter. Your score is seven for Water Valley, six for Independence. We'll take a break and be back for second quarter action after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. Midtown Auto Parts, your CarQuest dealer in Water Valley, has the parts you need for light and heavy-duty vehicles, custom-made hydraulic hoses for the farm, and heavy-duty equipment. Three- and four-wheeler parts and small engine parts, too. Midtown turns brakes and rotors. Check out their full line of K&N air filters. Midtown Auto Parts in the middle of downtown Water Valley is now open 6.30 a.m. till 6 p.m., six days a week. It's Midtown Auto Parts, the real parts store. All right, folks, we're back. Second quarter action here at Bobby Clark Field in Water Valley, Mississippi. Independence has a second forever, and oh, my goodness. Good. Uh, Donovan. <laughs> you know, here's the here's the funny thing. That's the same guy, number 80, 65, that kind of got under Donovan earlier a few plays ago and was so pumped up. Oh, yeah. And he just got ran over. I think that uh, – that adjustment that Donovan, Donovan got from uh, Coach Mix must have <laughs> worked. Right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> and he's not over there celebrating. It's like, hey, man, that's what I'm supposed to do. All right, third and forever, man. They got uh, a couple of city blocks to go. Looking to throw it over the middle. Caught and dragged down at the uh, 22. Drake Mayberry makes the tackle. It'll be fourth down and about 15 now. Wow, they picked up about 17 or 18 on that play. They did. I was afraid he was going to get loose for Mayberry and get to that sideline, but he was able to drag him down. Yep, yep. All right, so critical moment for the Blue Devils. You know they're going to throw it. We need to back up a step, guard that first down yardage line. 
Chuck, those receivers on the line. Don't let them off. Yeah, I mean, that's always a good thing. Slot right, slot left. Quarterback looking to his left. Okay. Now he goes down the middle. Oh, just over through the receiver. Had him wide open, though. He released up the seam right there. And he had two steps on our man. Wow. So, nonetheless, first down, Blue Devils going the other way. Second quarter action, 10-29 to go in the first half. I went down there to get a water and ran into Coach Embry. I knew I didn't have time to sit in that line, so I paid for his popcorn and told him to bring me a couple of waters. I might make it through this half. I might have to throw one of the bottles on my head to kind of cool off first. Maybe one year we can watch this from the pool at the country club. Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> and commentate it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Trey Adams gets thrown down in the backfield for a loss of about three. It looked like the play had been stopped. I didn't hear a whistle, but it just like they were moving so slow. It looked, right. like, it looked like the line didn't react like it was a real play. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Mm. All right, second 13. That's going to be number 14. Trey Adams running the ball. Gained about five. Yeah, he got about five on that. It'll bring up third and eight. We Donovan need, comes back we, in. We need to get us a cheap five right here. Get somebody to try to draw him off. Hmm. Thank you, sir. You're the man. <laughs> Being joined in the booth. Oh, man. <laughs> I tried to buy his popcorn. He bought my water. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh-oh. Oh, not good. We got uh, sacked and fumbled. Oh, we're going to have to punt for the first time tonight. Rick? Yeah, punting deep in our own end. Hopefully we can get it out to close to midfield, but. You gotta get kicked first. Well, let's see, that's gonna be Tyler Richardson back there to punt. Burris to snap. Oh, high snap, that goes out the back of the end zone. That is a safety and will give the Wildcats a one point lead. And we still got to kick off to them. Wow. Those, those kind of things tend to happen on the first punt, first field goal, first whatever of the game. So with the uh, 8.30 mark in the second quarter, safety against the Devils. Oh, goodness. Man, I hate a safety. Ooh. Man, I'm going to have to take a shower at halftime. It is, it is muggy. I got a pool of water where my arm is on this counter. I'm trying to stick my head out this window of the press box like a dog in a car going down the road, get some air. Don't touch any of these papers, it'll be a stain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Gabe Butler to kick off from the 20 yard line. Kicks it straight down the field. It's going to hit the ground. Oh, and he falls on it at the 47, 48. Oh. I'd say the 47. Yeah. Shame he couldn't bobble her forward, but. Hmm. He did good to keep that ball from he going did. forward out of his control. He'd have picked it up, too. Thought he was going to hit the ground with it and, not, and lose control, but he hung on to it. That was not a bad kick right there. I know Gabe was not wanting to kick it that short, but it ended up being a good play. He did. All right, first and 10 for the Wildcats at their own 44-yard line, 43, 44-yard line. 
Slot left, slot right, looking to swing. Oh, they're just going to pitch it out. Oh, quick pitch. Oh, nice play by Grant to slow him up. And got down. out of bounds for a first down in Water Valley Territory at the 36-yard uh, line. The old quick pitch. Goodness gracious. That was a good play right there, though, you know. All right. Devils need to stop. Devils need to stop. Defense got to get upfield. Put some pressure on him. Slot right, slot left, single back, handed off to number three, going right side. Donovan's giving chase. We got a flag come in. He got about eight or nine yards on that carry, but there's a flag back here around the line of scrimmage. Holding on the Wildcats, bring it back. You know, like you were saying earlier, we, we were making mistakes. We we're making mistakes and, and giving them confidence. But they're making them too, so we need yeah. to – We need the first one to clean up their act is going right. to start taking We need control. to capitalize on some of their mistakes. Right. And, and we, we haven't been doing that. Just like here, they, they're in a uh, – you know, first and 20, and got to keep them from getting Doing that first anything, down. Yeah. You know, we, we got some help here. Ooh, they left quick, a little quick, early. Quick movement over got here. Got pressure coming backside. Now he gets away, throws it out in the flat. Great catch. There, right there. Man, got 15 yards on he that play. He, he was close to the line of scrimmage when he threw it. Second and about four. He got 16 yards on that play. All right, second and four. We need something push them backwards. All right, trips left. Looks like they're going downfield with it here. Looking over the middle. Oh, that should have been picked. Oh, my mm. goodness. Come on. Mm. Page, we got to have that one, baby. We got we to gotta have them. That's that's gotta the, have it. That's what we're talking about, not capitalizing on mistakes right, right there. Right, and that was that was a huge mistake. He let that ball go and wasn't really sure his his re receiver and met, threw a bad pass. We should have had that one. Woo. That's two interceptions that we haven't got tonight. We, that's right. We All right, third down and four. Slot right, slot left. And he's going to run it. Oh, man, we just got to get him Hurt. down. He's just shucking us. He's just going to get a first down and more. Got a hold. They didn't call it. Wow. There it is. There, well, I'm going to probably hit him out of bounds. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't see anybody touch him. Zay's got to be quiet. Oh, goodness. Referee got a little theatrical down there. Oh, wow. Foul against the Blue Devils. That's going to put them in. That's half the distance. Come on, guys. All right, first and 10 inside the Blue Devil 10. The nine yard line handed off to number seven. He's hit immediately by, guess who? Wilson. He just bull rushed this guy and came in and made the play in the backfield. Uh, we got a timeout, timeout, independence. So with uh, seven minutes left in the first, first half, we'll take a break and be back right after this. You're watching Blue Devil football. C.W. White Incorporated of Water Valley is a wholesale supplier of quality fuels, lubricants, greases, and other oil products, all at reasonable prices. Put your trust in a family-owned and operated company that is committed to your success. For nearly eight decades, C.W. White has been serving North Mississippi with a vast range of products. Proudly supports Water Valley High School athletics and academics. Wishing the Blue Devils the best this and every season. Go Blue Devils! 
Black & Associates PA provides outstanding service to their clients because of their dedication. By combining their expertise, experience, and the energy of their staff, each client receives close personal and professional attention. They provide total financial services to individuals and large and small businesses. If you are looking for a blend of personal service and expertise, you have come to the right place. Joe Black & Associates. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool Makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. Donovan Wilson came through the line on the last play and pushed the uh, Wildcats back about three or four yards. Second down and goal now from about the uh, 13. Uh, he just blew the play in. Clock started. Slot right, slot uh, left. Oh, pressure coming this time. Did we get him, Don? Uh, oh, they're going to say he was down. Uh, Dez, looked like Dez came through and made that play finally. We've, we've had three or four guys in the backfield so many times, and he slips out. He, he, he sidesteps some of these. He, yeah, we're he, overrunning he just, the play, basically. And yeah, we've got to break down once we get in there. Cont break down and contain. Don't let him out. You don't have to hit him right now, you know. Close in. Close in quickly, but not too fast. Third down and goal now from back around the uh, 17. Trips left, single right. Oh, my goodness. Tyler, boy, I'm going to get you. They're going to pull him out. Oh, my goodness. Braden Gray is going to come in and get him. I do like how we, we have a, a plentiful amount of big kids to run in and out. I like that. Here we go. No pressure on the quarterback. Thrown. Oh, caught for a touchdown the back of the Man. end zone. We just got uh, – Page just got turned around, and the receiver, he, he faked in and went out, and Page took the end and uh, lost him in the back of the end zone. So that's going to be a uh, – it was 17 minus 5, so what's that, 12, 12-yard 12 touchdown pass? Yep. Goodness gracious. Now they're going to go for two. It's 14 to 7 right now, and they're going for two. They're going to hand it off to number three. No, quarterback keeper, and he makes it into the end zone for two-point conversion. That brings the score to 16 to 7. 5.57 left in the uh, first half. Well, we will take a break and be back for a kickoff right after this. Turnage Drug Store, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the Old Fashioned Snack Bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drugstore on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. Previously named Tri-Lake Eye Clinic, Magnolia Eye Group has been a pillar of the community for two generations. As a family, they've been dedicated to providing comprehensive support to help you and your loved ones protect and preserve your eyes and vision. Magnolia Eye Group takes an innovative approach to eye care using technology to provide a comprehensive overview of your needs. Start your experience with Magnolia today and request an appointment. Locations in Water Valley, Holly Springs, and Senatobia. 
at Yalabusha General Hospital. We are not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We are not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. Bobby Clark Field, Water Valley. First game of the season. Kickoff goes to about the 16, 17 yard line to uh, Paige. Get up he here. brings it back near side. One man to beat. He makes, he makes it, he slips through the arm tackle. Don't stop. Oh, nice. Gets it over the 50. That man. was Gale. Sorry, not Paige. Gale. Six. That's why they got him back returning punts. We're learning. <laughs> he can run. We got a timeout. Timeout on the field for a water break. My goodness. All right. Well, that's a good thing. It'll give us time to go over uh, our first couple of plays of this series. And while they do that, we're going to take a break and be right back. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan and Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact attorneys Kevin Horan, Brad Dagenau, Jimmy Powell, or Payne Horan at 226-2185. Or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. 5.45 left in the uh, first half. Water Valley down by eight. No, sorry, nine. Yep. Uh, Faust and them were yelling about something. I think somebody wasn't lined up right. Single right, single left, single back. Handed off to Bradford around the right side. He's got a little room. He's going to get about four on the play. Second about six left to go. Come back to that wide side of the field, the left side. It, I think we can well, make, you know, make some yardage. That's where you got Donovan Wilson and your, your, your heavy part of the line. And... Uh, but the left side of our line's not too shabby either, no. brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's going to be our, our sneak every now and then. So we, now we just shifted strong side to the left. Trey's going to keep it left. And, like, ooh, he might have only gotten two on that. Yeah, it's going to bring up third and four. Yeah, he just Trey just needs a little experience. He should have slipped out of he, he should have slipped out of that arm tackle. You know, he just needs a little bit more experience with those kind of plays where he can keep his balance and right. keep pushing through. He'll learn that. They're having to sling him down. He's got to try to keep that balance and right. spin out of it. Third and about four. Need a big first down here. Trey's gonna keep it turn near it, side. It. He's got lead blockers. Go hit the hole hard, Trey. Hit it hard, baby. Dive forward. There we go. First down, Blue Devil. Look for a second like he's just going to keep running right. to the sideline, but that hole opened up, and he saw it about the same time we did. Well, you know, a lot of times in that situation, when you've got good blocking, yeah, there are times if you're patient, you can take it to the house. But on a third and four, just yeah. get the first down. That's you know right. what I mean? That's the most important thing is hit that hole hard, get the That's first right. down quickly. Re reset the chains. Uh-oh, we got to stop. Timeout, timeout, independence. They didn't like something. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They only had eleven. So, all right, we'll take a break and be back after the timeout. You're watching Blue Devil Football. You may have heard of us, but you might not know Bank First is a community bank that has no fee ATM access, interest, and perks earning checking accounts with online and mobile banking. Mortgages for every stage of life and modern business banking for businesses, small and big. We keep it all together to put you first. Do you bank with us? You should.
The State Farm Personal Price Plan helps you create an affordable price just for you. Call State Farm agent Andy Epps in Water Valley today. All right, folks, we're back. Water Valley first and 10 at their own at the uh, Wildcat 27. Donovan just picked him up and pushed our guy about four yards. <laughs> he was stopped at the line. Donovan said, hey, man, look, we're going this way. Let me help you out. <laughs> Who do you give the, the yardage to? You give it to the running back or you give it to Donovan on that? That's, that's what you see in it. It's you know? like basketball. You got an assist. <laughs> you, get, <laughs> you should get multiple assists on that one. All right. Here we go. No mistakes. Here we go. Keep pushing the ball forward, guys. Let's go. Single right, single left. We put uh, Turnage and uh, Tyler move them to the right side. Trey gets the ball. Keeps it himself right side. He's got a little hole. Hit it hard. Gets inside the 20, close to first down. Oh, they're going to mark him at the 19? Wow, I thought he had the 18. They marked him barely inside. Okay, now, yeah, that's better, yeah. It looked like it was real close to the first down. Now it's looking like third and about one. Just make positive yardage here and get that first down. Don't go backwards. They got Gale lined up over there on the right side. They may put him in motion around the left. They blitz him. Uh -oh. Hand it off to Zay Bradford around the right side. He's got a lot of blockers. He's going to get some yardage inside the five-yard line. All right at. First and goal for Water Valley at the five. Now that's out of play. Offense. 2.38 to go in the uh, first half. Oh, Trey gets the ball. We got whistles. Wait a minute. Timeout. Oh, we made Independence burn their final timeout of the half. Yep. They weren't ready. And uh, so their coach had to call timeout. They were still running guys in, weren't lined up. I think they had maybe even 12 on the field. So, uh, yeah, Water Valley has gotten them to use their last timeout. Water Valley has uh, all three timeouts left, 231 to go, 16 to 7 is the score in favor of Independence. If we score here, Rick, do you go for two? And my thought is, yes, you go for two, because then you're only down one if they miss an extra point, or because you know they're going to go for it or not have a good chance of making it if they score right. again. I think you go for two if you if you punch this in. Yeah. Put it, 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 Puts it a one-point game at half. Yeah. Or three, one of the two. So you're either down three or, or one. And I just think even if you don't get it, you're down three, you know, no big deal, about the right. same. All right, so I think Independence finally has their players back out there. All go to, right. Go to the left. Hand it off to Zay Bradford around the right side. He had to avoid one guy and he lost yardage he back lost to the eight. Four. Three or four he lost. We let a guy get through. Yeah, they run into that short side of the field. I'd see what my speed looked like against your speed and run to that pylon. Well, especially with a kid like Zay, he's so quick and, and can cut. If yeah. he's running with them, stop, he can and, stop faster and get up. And you know, last week we run the option some, you know, some of that 1970 style football like I'm used to. So. Right. Uh-oh, what have we back. got? We got a flag. Flag on the flag. Dead ball offside. encroachment. Yeah, offside against the uh, Wildcats. That'll bring so it inside it. the five. You get it back about where it was at. Yeah, well, plus about a yard. That'll yep. bring it to the three. What? Uh huh? <laughs> now he's moving it back to the five. What? He still, no. He's like, oh, okay, yeah. What? <laughs> it's either half the distance or five yards, brother. It was at the seven. It should be at the four and a half, and I think that's where he finally got it. All right. Second goal. From the four and a half, we put Turnage and Richardson to the right side. And uh, Trey's going to keep it himself Touchdown. right over to guard. Touchdown. Touchdown. Water Valley. Nice. There we go. One thirty-six to go in the uh, first half. And Water Valley's 
We're actually going to go for uh, one. It looks like uh, they sent Gabe out there to try to try the extra point. Man, I would I would revisit the uh, percentage page on that. That was Trey Adams. Yeah, Adams. I yeah, yeah. All right, Tyler Richards is going to throw it in the end zone. Tur Parker Turnage catches it for the two-point conversion. Nice. So it's a fake extra point play. Oh, now we got a flag. What in the world? What's going on? Now, what is this? These are late flags, too. Now, they had already called touch. Uh, the point was good. And after a, about four or five seconds, then the flags came out. So I'm wondering what this is all about. Illegal formation can't be an illegal formation. I mean, it had to be like pass interference, really, on uh, the defense. Uh, it's probably after he scored. He... Oh, man. Okay, so conversion is good. 15 to 16 is your score in favor of uh, Independence, but Water Valley is going to have to kick off from about the 20-yard uh, line, or no, the 25-yard uh, line, if it's a 15-yard penalty. Who in the world got an unsportsmanlike penalty on that play? See, that's the kind of stuff that irritates me. There's no there's no need to, to get an unsportsmanlike. Who caught the pass? Parker Turnage. Yeah, Parker. Man, he's about a foot taller than the guy guarding him. And, uh, and, and <laughs> man, he didn't even have to jump. He just put his hands up. I'm in a position where I can't see this corner of this end zone over here. Yeah, yeah. That's why I switched. See, normally, Doug's out here. <laughs> oh, no. No, Doug did sit. He, he sat right there. And he, he was always trying to see. That's right. All right, short kick again. This one's going to hit the ground. Picked up at the 33. He's trying to bounce it outside. He's not going to get there. Oh, but he slipped out of a two tackles. That's the thing. Like, how in the world are we letting these kids go? We got two people on him. Bring him down. Wrap him up. Wrap up. Wrap up. All right. No timeouts for Independence. We, we did a good job of making them burn their timeouts. So whatever they do, they're going to have to do it in uh, normal play. They already got a kid cramping up over there on the sideline. See him working on him? Yeah. I, I hadn't noticed that any of our guys. It looked like He's being, cramping again. Been in pretty, good, him up. pretty good shape. I think that's that same guy that thought well, he got one decent play on Donovan. Yeah, he's cramping up still. He's going to rear back and chunk it, I bet, right here. He's got four wide yeah, outs. I dropped one safety back right here, yeah. especially I dropped Paige back. Coming underneath. Going, yeah, there and they is. got him. Oh, nice. Good try. Well, he ran a good route. He pulled our DB inside, and then he yeah. cut back. He ran a flag. So, And that's hard to uh, – it's hard to, to cover – I just, think, I just think say I'd go nickel, man. I'd get one of those linebackers out of there. And but you, you're isolating one. Or, you're getting one-on-one -on -one coverage over there. Yeah. Running a flag route this early in the year, it's hard to cover. He made an adjustment there. Especially if you let him get past you. Right. Don't let him get off the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Chuck him on the line. Yeah, of, yeah. You're going to be head up. Go get, up there and That gives bump. your defensive lineman an extra second to get uh -oh, to that quarterback. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's, no, that's a no. That's an intentional grounding unless he was outside the tackle. The pass is incomplete. He was already in, uh, being tackled by, by Dez. Or who was that? Was that Dez? Yeah, it looked like Dez. Dez Campbell? Yeah, Dez. Maybe he was outside the tackles, but uh, I don't know. It looked like grounding to me. One seventeen to play in the first. And see, here's the thing: we have all three timeouts. We could, uh, if they keep stopping the clock like this, we could make a little run right here before the end of half. Get on them! Don't let them off the line of scrimmage. Just gonna run it this way. See, oh, now that's a hold, hold. There you go. Out of bounds. Stop the clock too. Yeah, sure did. 
Yeah, I like what uh, Miles did right there. He held, he held his hands up, yeah. showing, hey, I'm being held. I'm, I'm like, be, come I'm, on, throw I'm, a flag. I'm being mugged over here. <laughs> yeah, we're going to decline. They're going to have to punt. Yeah, see? See what I mean? Yeah. That's an incredible. See, now they're out of timeouts. So we get the ball right back. And their punter, he uh, he hasn't showed me too right. much. Just don't run into him. We'll That's be right. okay. That's right. 109 still left in the uh, first half. Don't rough him. Let him screw up on his own. Okay. Go get it. Go get it. Okay. Good bounce for Blue Devils. Back to about the 42. We've got exactly a minute. One minute to play. Let's see what we got in store for the one-minute drill. Oh, it would be nice if you score a touchdown, but even we got out and kick a field goal. I'd be happy with that. Yep. Ah, uh, probably 35 kept out. They got to get in their mind. They got to they gotta hurry up, hurry up. You know, it's just got three timeouts, but still, you don't want to waste time on that clock. Trey rolls out. He throws back. Oh, no. Drop that. Okay. That was good. Thank that was you. Good. Yeah. Z <laughs> Zay, if you're no, <laughs> let that ball, don't catch it right there. <laughs> and here's what, if he catches it, check it out. The clock runs, <laughs> and it's a loss of yard. You know what I mean? But since it hit the ground first, whoo, okay, it stops the clock, and we're still back at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 from our own 42. Man, everybody's on the line of scrimmage for them. Yeah, we got to be able to throw this ball. There he is. He's got Gabe open. Gabe, great catch. Nice catch by Gabe Butler. Timeout, timeout, timeout. There you go, Russo. Good call. Man. Great catch. I mean, Gabe was being double covered, and uh, Trey just threw it right in the middle of the he, defenders, he, he and Gabe it. stuck his arms out in the middle and snuck that one in. That was a good catch. I thought when he first threw it, he was going to be intercepted. That's kind of grimacing a little bit, but that was a good play. Well, the, the guy that was closest to Gabe had his back turned, and the other guy was looking at, you know, at, at Gabe. They, he was kind of closing in, never even looked for the ball. Just slipped right between them. All right, so 45.5 seconds left, and the Devils got a first down on that play, so that's a new, new, set, of, new set of downs. Uh, you know, I like the one-on-one -on -one action down the sideline with uh, with Gale. I would send Gale on a go route or like a uh, some kind of a go, you know, any variation of a go. Uh, and he's out here on the near side, and I would roll Trey to the right side and just throw it down. And then look, look, look have him have a go route for about 20 yards and then cut break, it in. Break it off. Break it off into toward the middle of the field and just throw it up for him. All right. They're going to do a, uh, a reverse. That did not that did not work out. Nope. It would have been better if he faked the handoff yeah. and not handed it to him. That's right. He would have been up the sidelines. Yeah, they could have got out of bounds and yardage. Yeah, he, it was open. Timeout, Blue Devils. Yeah, 35 seconds. That play took 10 off the clock. Well, yeah, I hate to go backwards on a play. We lost seven yards on that or six, six yards on that play. Uh, and you're right, Rick. Yeah, Zay had the corner. He could have potentially, you know, and, and your running back going down the sideline has options. He can, he can jump out, step out of bounds. Or he can try to cut it up and make beat one guy, and then he's gone to the house. That's right. Get, get, it gets first down. He goes, you know, they almost have to reset the chains. And I, something I always wonder. Back when I was in high school, we there was a lot of screens that we played against. We even had some screens, and man, this is a great opportunity for a screen. The way they get been getting a rush. Right. You know? The way they're coming up in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're almost a straight line in the middle a, of the field. A center screen would. Uh, I think would smoke them. Well, you know, I don't see uh, Burris out there, but he would be a great one to throw it to, or Donovan. Trey's looking to throw it right now. Uh-oh, picked. Oh. 
That hit Parker Turnage in the hands, but a defender had his hand in there also. Yeah. And uh, it kind of bopped up in the air, and safety picked it off. I don't know. I, I think I think we had Gabe down the field, kind of wide open. Did you see that? Yeah. He dumped it off. and Oh, man. So, 26 seconds left. Independence get one last little try if they want it. And uh, right at midfield. And I don't think they're going to take a knee. They're going to rear back and chunk it. So, everybody, oh, yeah. we need to get go to nickel and keep them in front of you. Yep, they spread in the field. Get on him, six. Don't let him off the line. And we are a little bit backed up with the safeties. We've got about 15 Seven's yards. released. Seven's so that released. might need to get picked. Oh, my goodness. Wow. How do you let it. that go? We were playing the ball, not the man on that one. They, they and just, the ball went over his head. They just released seven, and he just took off and ran to the ball. Oh, uh, that's on your safety. Uh, Page has got a – and he had, a, he had plenty of time to get there to the ball. He undercut the ball. And the ball went over his head. Can't do that. You can't do that. I don't care if you run over there and hit the guy before he catches it, but you cannot in that situation come to the ball early and uh, cut it off and let it go over your head. <clears throat> wow. That was ugly. That was an ugly play. Yeah, they'll have to. Time out. Wow. Uh uh. I don't know. Uh, maybe us because they were going for two. Yeah, it was us because we don't have any timeouts left. We had we had one. <clears throat> My goodness, y'all, that is not good. Not good right there. You can't do that. Wow. One play. 51 yards. All right, Independence lined up for, for a two-point conversion. He's going to throw it. Oh, no, no good. Good try by the receiver. He jumped up. It was a little bit high and behind him, and he went up, got his hands on it, just couldn't, couldn't get it in. So that brings the score 22 to 15. 17 seconds left in the first half. We will uh, take a, keep it here? Okay. Yeah. Rick, I just don't – I haven't seen the safety – he never looked at the ball. He, he never no. looked at the ball. He was just looking at the guy, and he was running towards him. Never one, – one thought – never did it cross his mind that that ball might be coming over his head. And he had plenty – he had – he was back, yeah. way back. And he all he had to do was run straight across the field. He could have jumped up and caught it. And they just letting him come off the line and not – trying to hold them up any, you know. I, I, it's pretty evident this team is just going to throw, throw the ball on us a lot tonight. So they got they got to play up on them, try to hold them up, and give our defensive line just the one more second maybe to get to that quarterback. And well, if you, now I think that's one of the big things. We're, we're getting pretty good pressure on him. We're just missing him. Hmm. He, we've got to get in slow down because he's not throwing it at me. He's looking to put a move and then throw. Yeah, he's, he's, he needs that extra two seconds. He's shifty. He's an athlete. He's a, so I think you get through the line, break down, and then make an athletic play instead of just coming 100% and diving at him because that's not going to bring him down. All right. We need a return for a touchdown right here, brother. I'm going to call we can, it. We're we about to get it. one. He's going to kick it out there to the – Right side, it's going to hit the ground. Pick it up. Come on, get up the field. Come on. Come on. Now he's taking it back, cutting it back. Oh, nice. What a move. Now he's got some clear. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's shifty. Dang, that ran almost the whole clock. That was a 12-second <laughs> play, wasn't it? I thought when he got loose that he was, might take it to the house. 
Well, yeah, Darion Gale is proven to be a pretty handy return guy right now. Yeah. Bob, we need some of that old uh, Reggie Pulley, uh, Darrell Clark magic that year that they would score it right before the half. I think about like seven games they did that. It was crazy. They'd come up with some kind of halfback pass or quarterback throwback or something. All right, here we go. Zay Bradford looking to do a halfback pass. He's got Parker Turnage wide open. Come on, Parker. Uh, no Step time over. left. No time left. Oh, Ooh, good thought try. He got by him. Oh, good try. Yeah, that's what I was hoping we would have done earlier. I was saying when Zay pulled that out, a halfback pass would be great. But nevertheless, that's the end of the first half. You score 22 for Independence, 15 for Water Valley. We'll take a break. When we get back, it'll be time for the scoring summary. You're watching Blue Devil Football. At Yalabusha General Hospital, we're not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We're not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. The Law Office of Tommy Defar, PLLC at 111 Cowden Street has been serving Water Valley for over 20 years. Defer Law Office has been helping thousands of clients in various types of civil and criminal cases across the state. Let Tommy Defar and Will Phillips help you with your legal issues. All right, folks, we're back. Bobby Clark Field, first ball game of the year for the Blue Devils against Independence. The score is 22 to 15. It is time now for the scoring summary brought to you by the Law Office of Tommy Defer. Rick, how did you have it happening? Well, the scoring got started by the Blue Devils in the first quarter at the seven-minute mark on a six-yard touchdown run to the left by Bradford. The PAT was good by Butler, made score seven to nothing. Uh, then in the first quarter, a little bit later at the 355 mark, it was a 55-yard touchdown pass on the left side of the field. The, the kick was blocked, and so we held the in Independence to seven to six. In the second quarter at the 8.30 mark, uh, we had a snap over our, uh, our punter's head in the end zone. It was a safety. Put Independence up 8-7. to seven. Later on in the second quarter at the 5.57 mark, we had a 12-yard touchdown pass to the right back corner of the end zone. And uh, then they had a two-point uh, to the uh, pass to the left at 7-16. to 16. And then in, in later on in the second quarter at the 1.36 mark, had a four-yard touchdown run up the middle by Adams, and then we had a two-point pass by Richardson to Turnage, put the score to 15-16, to 16. and then at the 17-second mark, there was a 50-yard touchdown pass by Independence, and the PAT pass was no good, lift the score at the half, 15-22 to 22 Independence. Well, man, we came out on fire, and we looked so good, and uh, then the wheels fell. It all kind of fell apart uh, right there at that rough in the kicker belt. And then it just seemed that snowball and we started making more mistakes and more mistakes and more mistakes. And to be honest, as far as we're playing, I think we're playing okay. If we don't have the mistakes, we're ahead in this ball game. I think we're the better team on the field. We're the most athletic team. Now, they got some a couple of good athletes. That quarterback is really shifty. He kind of, he's like a little miniature Jaden Daniels. He, he can run and throw the ball, and he, he's a threat at either he does. And we just got, I don't know, we got to get a spy on him or something. But we got to, I think we really need to check those res receivers on the line of scrimmage because we haven't been doing that. They've just been taking off and running. And We did it the first two series, though, yeah. and it stopped. Yeah. We stopped them. And, but, uh, uh, yeah, man, I'm just thinking. I, and now, that last play, the touchdown, they scored one play, 51 yards. Man, that, that was just bad coverage, horrible coverage by the Devils. Other than that, we have played good enough outside of penalties and things of that nature yeah. to be ahead in this ball game, yeah. even with that play. Yeah. And we're, we're only behind by a touchdown and an extra point. So it's still anybody's game, you know. Right. They, they, and we get the ball coming out in the, right. in the second half. So we can we can very well tie it up. So, yeah, I, th I think just the keys for Water Valley in the second half, cut out the mistakes. And, and what I mean by mistakes is 
Uh, not the play mistakes, the penalties. The, no, no roughing the whatever. No, no uh, saying something after the play. No, you know, unsportsmanlike, right? And I think if we do that and we quit giving them another chance. We're good enough to, to shut them down and, right. and, and pull ahead. Shoot, yeah. Just got to quit making mistakes, like you say, and uh, just be smart. Just be smart. All right. Well, we're, uh, we'll take a break, and when we get back, it'll be time for second-half action. After this, you're watching Blue Devil Football. There was a time when integrity really mattered. At Farm Bureau Insurance, it still does. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. See agents Bradley Brown, Chuck Upchurch, and Brad Emery. Turnage Drugstore, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drugstore on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. As a hometown bank, Bank First is proud to offer top-notch banking products with perks that support local businesses and people who support their communities. We believe our towns, no matter the size, deserve the best, the best products and the best customer service, an experience we all deserve. We're hometown banking at its best. Do you bank with us? You should. C.W. White Incorporated of Water Valley is a wholesale supplier of quality fuels, lubricants, greases, and other oil products, all at reasonable prices. Put your trust in a family-owned and operated company that is committed to your success. For nearly eight decades, C.W. White has been serving North Mississippi with a vast range of products. Proudly supports Water Valley High School athletics and academics. Wishing the Blue Devils the best this and every season. Go Blue Devils! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Second half action. First ball game of the year for the Water Valley Blue Devils. And the Blue Devils will get the ball in the second half. And uh, down by seven, 15 to 22 here at Bobby Clark Field. And, man, I'm going to tell you what, we haven't had rain, Rick, in what, two, three, three, at least three weeks. Yes, yeah, And then long. yesterday it poured for a while. We had a golf match, and we got the kids out there, played about two holes, and the bottom dropped out. So it's yeah. muggy, right. muggy, muggy today. I asked my wife, and she put water in the pool because it would come up. Because now it rained hard for a while. Yeah. All right. Here it comes Independence. Going to boot this thing to a short kick this time. It's going to hit and go out of bounds, thank goodness, because uh, we weren't really over there that close to it. Yeah, when they start spinning and squirreling around in there like that, you don't yeah. know if they're going to bounce back in the field or what. Well, Caden Norlander was headed that way, number 11, mm -hmm. and what he's got to understand is all you got to do is run over there, knock that. You don't have to catch it. Make sure it goes out of bounds. That's right. You can knock it out of bounds or catch it out of bounds, whatever you want to do. Uh, but, I mean, what happened is it hit the ground and went out, so that actually helps us out a little yeah. bit more. We're but We're going to make them kick it again. Oh, yeah. Get that speed on it. Well, I would pull my guys up. I think we've got uh, Gale and uh, – who's that, Miles Buford? Yeah. Backed a little bit too far. They need to be back where the up back <gasps> They need to be up around the 30-yard yeah, line. We yeah, need yeah. to move everybody up because this kid does not have a strong leg. Every, now Everybody needs to come up 10 yards. That's what they did. What, they moved uh, up, and they still use. They, they still there's a big side. gap right here. Yeah, yeah. They got to come forward. Yeah. So uh, these guys need to go up ten yards. Everybody needs to go up ten yards. Man, you kick it right over that line, put some backspin on it. And here's what I would do: wait till he starts running, approaching the ball, and yeah. then come on up. All right, he's going to pooch it again right over here to him. Fair catch called for. <laughs> So, yeah, I just don't understand that. If Miles Buford catches that ball, he's gone. Yeah. And, and I never and, understood and that, we got, man. It, we got it on the 34 instead of the 35. Yeah. Golly. That just didn't make sense. Nope. Well, that's, that's the way it is in high school. See if we made some adjustments. 
Hand it off to uh, Bradford, near side. He fights his way, man. He's always going to get three, at least. All right, here we go. Second about seven. Need some good play right here. Clean play. Trey's going to keep it himself. He got hit at the line oh. and, and lost yardage. Mm. Yeah, he thought the referee was blowing the whistle for then. They should have blown the whistle. Yeah. You should not let them drive take him. our guy back more than and three drive, or four yards. And drive him into the ground before you blow the whistle. Right. Yeah, our, our, he, it, he's feeling that. Big old dude landing on him. All right, so that brings up third and about ten. We lost all our progress. Trey's going to roll out. He's got Tyler Richardson kind of open. He throws it to him. Tyler's got it. First down, Blue Devils. I like the little lockup. Okay, good job, Tyler. Great catch, buddy. Good play. He just got in a little open spot there, and he laid it in there to him. Yeah, they had to. They had to choose one of the two uh, receivers, either Parker Turnage or uh, Tyler, to cover, and they picked Turnage. And uh, they kind of left Tyler a little bit open, gave him a little room, so Trey put it in there. Good pass. First and ten. Trey hands to Bradford. Oh, Bradford hmm. got hit at the 50 and brought down. Good tackle right there. Uh, 58 going. You, you don't need to be talking trash to Donovan. <laughs> you get stepped on. That's what Donovan's going to have to put up with all year. They're going to try oh, yeah. to bait him and goad him into doing something stupid. He's just got to let that crap go, laugh it off. All right. All right, Trey's going to get the ball. Keep it himself, right side. He found a little hole. He's falling easy. If he just cut to that left a little quicker, he, he, yeah, had, a, he's he just, had a big hole. Yeah, he's – okay, so when he gets through the initial line of scrimmage, he's got to pick a side and go and stop trying to follow him right. all the way. At some point, you've got to leave your, your lead blocker and just go. That's right. You know, because if you, if you stay in behind him, you're isolating yourself. Because you can only go as fast as, as Arion can run. Yeah. All right, same play. Three times gonna in a row, a, same formation. Be a pass. Fake that little handoff to him and hit hit that wide out. I say we're going to give it to uh, Bradford right here. Same play. He's following yeah. his Arion. He's got it up over the 40. First down, Blue Devil. It's basically the same play. Either Trey's running it or Bradford. Yeah. But here's and the thing, we're doing, we're executing it so well, it's hard to stop with uh, big number 50 and and uh, 59 and, and, and sure on that side. They need to, uh, guys up here in the booth over here besides, need to make a cutback when he gets to the line because that to the left's been open. He, each time he stays right behind that blocking. Man, I would throw it to Grant Burris. Bradford's up the middle. Man, he's just, I mean, they got his jersey off. He's still getting yards. He pulled, he got hit about a yard into his run and picked up three more for a run of about four, second and six. This is what I like right here, man. We're just taking it down the field. All right, 7.52 to go in the third, down seven. Trey's going to keep it himself this time. He's got a pulling guard in front of him. Now he breaks it through, spins it off of one guy, one guy and made it about five more. First down, Water Valley to about the 25-yard uh, line, 24 call. That's good, good run.
All right, Trey keeps it himself again, right side. A little bit different play. We didn't pull any guards that time. He got a couple. Call it one. Second nine. Yeah, we are chewing the clock. That's right. Coming up on five minutes. Possession, time of possession on this one drive. Go back that little counter to the to the left. Got a lot of a lot of room over there. Yeah, maybe even an end around or something. Yeah. You can sneak in uh, somebody fast. Trey's gonna, he's looking to pitch it. No one's there. Oh, he broke another tackle. Wow, he turns something in out of nothing. He probably got two on that. It's going to be third and six, though. Yeah, he was wanting to pitch it, but they, they come across. and Well, it's like he wanted to pitch it, but then he ran up in the yeah. pocket, and uh, everything kind of closed up on him. Now they got the wide side back to this right side. So 51's got a cramp. He's going to go down. They're going to have to stop play. I think that ought to be a timeout, brother. You hear me? They got to start doing timeouts on that, like instead of an official timeout for cramps. Right. They got to start charging a team a timeout for that. He could have made it off the field. All right. We'll take a break with them and be back after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Seven Oaks Funeral Home has been a tradition in Yalabusha County for over a century. A full-service funeral home with an outstanding and friendly staff. Seven Oaks offers that extra touch with a celebration of life memorial tribute video and custom-made bulletins. Lock in today's prices. Speak with one of their many pre-need counselors. Stop by or call 473-2363. Seven Oaks Funeral Home at the intersection of Highways 7 and 32. The State Farm Personal Price Plan helps you create an affordable price just for you. Call State Farm agent Andy Epps in Water Valley today. Complete body repair. They do headliner replacement, vinyl top replacement, air conditioner repair, lockout service, and most any other body repair your vehicle would need. Luke's Body Shop has 24-hour towing, free estimates for any job. Ask about their coast-to-coast -coast carports, buildings, and garages. When you're in need of body repair, take your vehicle to Luke's Body Shop, South Main Street in Water Valley. Open weekdays, 8 till 5. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Water Valley's moving the ball pretty good. Now we kind of stalled out. We got a third and six. Four down territory, though, Rick. Yeah, most definitely four down territory. Down by, by seven. Hopefully we can get down there and... The chance of putting it in the end zone. Adam's going to roll out. Looking to kind of throw it. Got a flag came in. Oh, oh that was a chop block to the head. <laughs> and, uh, oh. They're saying it's going to be on us. Holding is going to be on us. 52's hurt for uh, Wildcat. Yeah, I think he rolled an ankle. And then 65 is down. I think 65 rolled his ankle for him. Yeah, 52 hurt his knee. Yeah. Got two guys down. And both of them have to come out. Yeah, 65 got up, but he's got to go out. He's got to go out. Hey, he can't stay in the ball game. Yeah, yeah. Faust is talking to him. Yeah, okay, there he goes. If you stay out, uh, if you stay on the ground like you're hurt after the whistle. Yeah, they call call timeout for you. You, you, you uh, got to go out. I mean, even if they call it for another player, if you stay down, yeah. you got to go out too. <laughs> Holding on the Blue Devils. Decline. Be fourth and seven, six. Yeah, I, just, I believe I'd have had to take the yardage. Mm, I don't know. That's I don't kinda, know. kind of iffy. Not against our offense. I'd, I'd, I'd decline it, uh, take my chances. Well, no, it's fourth and 11. 
We lost a little yardage on that. Yeah, we did. Well, here we go. Big play right here. Got to do something. Tyler Richardson goes in motion to the left side. Trey calls for the ball. He's looking to throw it. Oh, no. He just threw it long, uh, low to, uh, to Gale. So it's going to be a turnover on down. That, that that player going off, he uh, his he was he's uh, is a Newsom. I played against some Newsoms, and they were some good ball players. I think they have a crop coming through every, every probably ten years of Newsoms. <sighs> yeah, so five thirty-seven left in the third quarter. Independence sees the ball for the first time. Defense has got to come up big right here. We've got to yeah. shut down the pass you and uh, get them off the field quick. Can't go down by 14. Right. And I don't even want to see them chew up any yardage. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get off the field quick. Hand off up the middle. Richardson gives chase. Oh, yeah, down in the backfield. There you go, loss of one. We're just pretty strong up there on the defensive front right now. We're Russo's got – Got those front four or five just really playing some decent ball right now, you know. Uh, they're all veterans. They know how to disrupt and move within the line, you know, avoid the blocks and get in there and make a play. They understand you don't have to overrun the play on a running back. We yeah. need to do the same thing on the quarterback. All right, he's looking to throw Keep it in front of you. Donovan, careful. Pick that. Yes, sir. Atta boy. Oh, is it not pick? Yeah, it was pick. All right, that was Channing Freeman. Finally got back deep enough. And, you know, I think that's what we should have done the first quarter, the first, the first half. He was just sitting down here at the bench just earlier, and uh, I guess he was resting up for that. He had to run back to the ball. You know? <laughs> All right. Two plays and Water Valley has it back. Hand off to Bradford, right side. He's in behind. One of his big boys gets about six. They got another guy cramped up. Yeah, they they uh, they having some uh, cramping so issues. He got him up. Now we got Zay's kind of rolling around on his ankle a little bit. Get him out. There comes Buford. Man, I'm gonna tell you what. Buford uh, can run the ball. He's a, he's pretty daggum good too. Oh yeah, yeah. He he made some good runs last year. Uh, he's bigger than Zay. Oh, yeah, they're both in my first. Now they got a guy that went down with a cramp. Same guy? Yeah, they're in both in my first period class. I'd say uh, Miles is probably a couple, about an inch and a half, two inches taller. And uh, they're about the same body size, you know. Yeah, we'll take a uh, break while they play the uh, cramp game. So we'll be back <laughs> in a minute. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Turnage Drugstore, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drugstore on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool Makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. 
Previously named Tri-Lake Eye Clinic, Magnolia Eye Group has been a pillar of the community for two generations. As a family, they've been dedicated to providing comprehensive support to help you and your loved ones protect and preserve your eyes and vision. Magnolia Eye Group takes an innovative approach to eye care using technology to provide a comprehensive overview of your needs. Start your experience with Magnolia today and request an appointment. Locations in Water Valley, Holly Springs, and Senatobia. 414 to go in the third quarter. Still scores 22, Independence 15 for Water Valley. Water Valley has the ball in, in uh, Wildcat territory. Handed off to uh, Miles Buford, and he hit the hole good right yeah. there. First down, Blue up. Miles comes in with those fresh legs. And well, I've always liked that about Miles. Yeah. He has he he hits the hole hard. No dancing with Miles. Both styles. Oh, now we got a guy going down again. What in the world, bro? They got to do something about this. We we can't play a ball game with. Uh, Somebody going down every two minutes. What are they taking his shoes off for and his socks and stuff? <laughs> what in the world is that? I don't. He's just ripping his socks off. It's it's a cramp, brother. It's not like I think they robbed him. <laughs> I think they robbed him. That's the first time I ever seen. You remember back to the I think he took his wallet. I think he took yeah. his wallet. He jerked his <laughs> socks and shoes off like he'd been bit by a water monster. <laughs> I think it's you should not be able to come in the look, if you get a cramp, you should not be able to come in back in that series. Now he's gotta go find his cleats. You don't understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You should not be able to enter back right. in the game that series. That's right, because I mean if it's that serious, you need to be hey. out. You need to go get you some fluids. Or on the second, on the second cramp, maybe. Yeah. All right, first and ten for the Blue Devils at the uh, forty one. Trey runs to the left go, go, behind go, go, Buford. Go, 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 go. He cuts it back. Oh, he had it, man. If he'd have just cut it to the sideline keep and running. just beat him, keep, keep running. He probably would have gone the whole way. They're all cramping up, and then the ones that they've sent in are, you know, they got another cramp. Second team players, so outrun them to the sidelines. They can't keep a kid on the every play. They're cramping. Man, this is ridiculous. It's a joke. It's it's a hindrance <laughs> to the play of the the flow of the game. Like I said. They should be out a whole series if they go down twice. Mm. So here's a little tidbit of information, MHSAA will not let you practice if Weatherbug says that it's a 10 on the heat index, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of these kids are not getting to practice in the heat and get acclimated, but you can have a contest no matter how hot it is. Buford, or that's Zay Bradford. Bradford hit the hole hard that time. He made the corner, and they're gonna, they should get a penalty right there. Oh, he went to pull it, and he didn't pull it. He should have pulled the flag. They slung him down out of bounds. First down, but we should have added 15 to it. Where's the flag for slinging him down? Come on. Hand it off to Zay again, right side. He's going to be swallowed up. He bounces off a couple, but he's surrounded now. Back at the 18. Loss of about three. Miles comes in. Yes. Yeah, we need some fresh legs. It, the defense is – man, I'd I'd go to the left with it and tell him run to the pylon because they're, 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 they're slow. They're tired. Yeah, they're, they're going to get, a, they'll get a cramp running after us. Yeah, they – you know. We just got to make one block on the corner. Hey, just make a cut and the whole team will cramp up. Trey's going to – he's going to go run it. Go with it. Go with it. Go with it. Oh, no, he's got to cut faster than that. He's okay. going backwards. Come on. Turn it up. Get what you can get, baby. Or hand it off to Buford. He's got the fresh legs. You know what I'm saying? Let Buford beat their whole team yeah, to the that, corner. That's what I thought he was going to do, let Buford run it to the left. Now we're looking at third and 15, 16. When we should be running all over these fools right now. Looking to throw it. 
He's got, uh, he just threw it low to Tyler. He's throwing it low. He's tired. Trey's kind of tired, man. We need to be handing that ball off. Well, that's what I don't understand. You got Buford, fresh legs. He, he, he is a great runner. He hits the hole hard. Why not? You know, he, he's fresh. Let him run the ball. Look at him walking out there. He's fresh as he yeah. can be. He's the freshest player out there right now. Oh, goodness. What do we got for a fourth and 16? We brought Des Bryant in at uh, tight end. I mean, Des Campbell. He's, He's going to throw it to Parker. Parker's got to get up. Oh, just batted down. Turnover on downs again. Goodness gracious. That is uh, depressing. Now, we just totally blew up right there. Totally blew up. They got a bunch of them linemen standing on the field from defense. So they, they uh, now's the time to put the heat on that quarterback. My goodness. Huge opportunity right there, Miss. Man, I'm going to tell you. All right. Independence takes over at the uh, Water Valley 20, 21. Put a man in motion. Set quarterback Ready. keeper. Oh, he's brought down pretty quick. He did get about five, though. Five quick ones. Now, he's going to start using his legs a lot more since we picked that ball off and we started playing them a little deeper. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they want to run that clock, too. 142 to go in the third. All right, second five. Hand off. Oh, fumble. Picked it back up. He's trying to make the corner. He Man. got about a yard maybe until we got him out. Whoa, there's a flag. What in the world? Where did that come from? The lady the lady ref just threw a flag in late. What in the world? Fate. How can she call anything from where she was? She couldn't even see the play. Face mask. Face mask. Wow. In the world, I guess whenever we made that tackle out of bounds, she saw something. But she's 30 yards down the field. I don't, or 20 yards down the field. I don't see how, unless it was very obvious. But I didn't see it. Shot. Wow. Chance Gardner with the run. Tackle by number 12, Reed Burris. Yeah, Burris comes across and gets a good shot on him. He wanted to cut back and Reed met him. Forty seven seconds. Yeah, they tired. They just want to run the clock. They just want to just get yeah. first down, first down. All right. Second about seven. Quarterback is going to run. He's looking for a guy open. He's got a guy kind of, you know. Yeah, he would have had a first down if he dropped it in there, but he yeah. threw it over his head. That stopped the clock. 25 seconds. The third down and seven. Bringing heavy, some heavy guys we're bringing back. some meat in there. They got a little bit of a rest.
Big play right here. Oh, goodness. I'm going to make me some chairs and bring up here. Yeah, these are just a little bit too tall. They're stiffy. All right, here we go. Quarterback's looking to run it now. Dez is giving chase. Looks like he's going to be close. He gets the first down. Yep. Quarterback Kane holds with the keeper. Nobody got, was out there. Got to put a spy on him. That's a first down. Independence. All right, first and 10, 17 seconds to go in the third. Slot left, slot right. Hand off up the middle, number three. Burris makes initial contact, and then he carried it. He's still on his feet, ran into the official. He's still breaking tackles. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's got his Azari on the beat. Touchdown. Wow, five Unreal. tackles. Unreal. Five tackles. Boys, y'all got to wrap up better. And now they got a flag for a sportsman like he slammed the ball, but that who cares now? Yeah, you thought they'd blown the whistle there at that one time, but they well, they didn't. He, here's got, the, he, he played through the you know, here's the to, problem. To the end. No one is getting low. No one's getting low. They're, he's hitting us in the stomach, pushing us around. No one's getting our arms wrapped around him and dragging him to the ground. We're just arm tackling. Hitting and hoping he falls. Yeah. That doesn't work. Yeah, that's on the kickoff. It was after the whistle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're going to they, back they, him up for yeah, the two. That's what I was wondering about, yeah. It's in between plays. You can you can yeah. opt to have it on the kickoff or this play. Most people like it on the kickoff so they can get better yardage, but. going to come out with some probably jump ball. Number one over here, he's a tall guy. He's going over the middle. Our guy just got lost, touched. I mean, how do you let that happen? Either, like you said, bump him off the line of scrimmage or play it deep, one of the two, but you can't stay with him. We've already proven that. All right, scores 30 to 15 at the end of the third quarter. We'll take a brief be, uh, break and be back for a fourth quarter action after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan and Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact attorneys Kevin Horan, Brad Dagenau, Jimmy Powell, or Payne Horan at 226-2185. Or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. There was a time when integrity really mattered. At Farm Bureau Insurance, it still does. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. See agents Bradley Brown, Chuck Upchurch, and Brad Emery. At Yalabusha General Hospital, we're not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We're not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. All right, folks, we're back. Fourth quarter action. Independence just went up by 15 points. 
Come on. Get up the field. Let's go. Mm. We had some good blocking up the field. Just yeah, you got to go. You got to get somebody with some speed. You got to make a decision and yeah. just go one way. And you can't start hopping around sideways. Yeah. Well, that's just the thing, man. I, I just I put that on special teams coordinators right there. You know they're not going deep. Hey, right before when he gets back to kick it, as soon as he starts forward, run your other guy up there and drop the other one back or yeah. something, or, or let him come on forward. Hey, if he makes a good kick and gets it over your head, okay. Good for y'all. But, you know, look, we need to try something other than letting a kid that doesn't return the ball return the ball. We're letting them win the win the, uh, win the play. It's like Buford headed around the right side. He's mm. going to get about three. Miles Buford on the carry. Down by Yeah, we start to see some hands on the hips out there on both sides a little bit. We got to speed up our offense a little bit. We're down to 11 and a half minutes to go in the game. All right. In the round to Gay Butler. Can he get around that guy? Yeah, he made that. How much yardage can he get? He got out to about the 39-yard line. Pretty close. Need to get to the 40 for a first. Starting to get a little of that uh, air conditioning now. Coming through here. Yeah. Cool air. Uh, they got an air conditioner at the end over there. I'm thinking about cutting a hole and putting one right behind us. Yeah, that's what we need. I got one sitting in the garage, ain't doing nothing. Now, that was offside, but anyway, Trey gets the first down up over the 45. How that's about blow a whistle? A helmet to helmet there. Yeah, Zay's starting to cramp a little bit. There's a uh, growing cramping. Stretching, it actually makes it worse, brother. Did you know that? Yeah. Stretching makes it worse. You lightly stretch it out, but you don't need to stretch hard. Now that's offside again. 54 was offside the play before. It's what I was saying. He's jumping. He's got our snap count. He's jumping it, but he's jumping early. Offside against the Wildcats. Ten thirty-nine to play in the contest. Devils need two quick ones. First and five for the Devils in uh, Wildcat territory at the 40, 49 yard line. Hand it off to uh, Miles. Get behind, get, you you got go, behind Dez. Out of bounds. Good. Over the 40 yard line. First down. Miles Buford. Yeah, he followed his block, blocking, and then he, he, he did, as we said earlier, man, when. You got to commit sooner or later. Get out from behind him, and he actually got out and got the first down. Come on, let's let's get on that line. Let's get yeah. play. Well, it's out of bounds. Yeah, just stop right. the clock. It, it was out of bounds. All right, Trey's going to keep it himself. Block Near with side. three. Uh, That's five yard, four yards. All right, now we need to hurry up and get a new play right, let's in. Let's go, let's go. Hustle it up a little bit. We keep them on their heels. That, that's our best offense right now is to go fast. Yeah. That's our best chance. Look at all the hands on hips out there yeah. on the defense. We need to be hitting them in the mouth quickly. I just run the same day gun play over and over and wear them out. Oh, no. Send their pitch to Option. That. He never looked at his. Uh, he never looked to see what his option was. He, yeah. He had a guy that was more shade than the pitch man. You got to fake that pitch, pull and, it down, and, and go. Step and go. That's right. 
Plant that foot and turn up field. Now you're looking at third and 11. It's just uh, young. Uh-oh, oh. ball hit the ground. Zay came in the game. What? Oh, my goodness. First thing he did was put it on the ground. Come on, buddy. Fourth and 12 now. Man, we have we have done well, 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 ugly. Well, 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 ugly. You know what I mean? We'll move the ball 20, 30, 40 yards and then just have three plays in a row backwards. How do you do that? How can you be that bad three plays in a row? I can understand one, maybe two, but not three in a row. Maybe you can get one here. Get one for 13. Yeah, play. Well, now you're kind of behind the ball, so you got to throw it. You know what I mean? Now we got two guys in motion. Oh, no, that's – they didn't – yeah, there's the flag. There's the flag. Uh, he just had good coverage on you, buddy. That's going to be declined. Actually, they should have just blown the play dead. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. Was, it, was it not a dead ball? Decline. First down the other way. Yeah. Gee whiz. What? I mean, it happened before the play. They should have blown it dead then. Yeah. But, you know. Quarterback pulled it, kept it himself. Got a quick Eight. seven. Yep, got about seven yards. Eight. We got to hold him down to seven. A little, little under eight minutes. Whew. Well, we, what we need is a pick six, fumble six, something like that. At this point in the game, 7.45 left to play in the game. You just don't have time on the clock to let them have a drive. You've got to you got to have something big happen down two, two scores. Come up, come up. That's holding. Yeah, he's, he got outside. There he, he got him. Yeah. No matter what happens now, let him go. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they tired, but they got to, you know, got to keep fighting to the end. Got to keep fighting to the end. We might get a a cheap one here in a minute. Be back in the game. That's gonna put them behind the sticks now. Second, well, 14, 13. Yeah, second about 12. They, they were kind of up when that was. Yeah. All right. 7-19. Quarterback keeper. Oh, wow. Can't grab it. There you go. Nice play right there yeah. by Burris. Yeah, he slid slid across from that linebacker spot. He did make a good play. No game on the play. Third down. Wow. Well, I mean, it's actually a good play by Gale. Gale kind of made him turn up so yeah. that, so that so, uh, Reed can make that play. Right. If he gets taken out of that, if he lets himself get blocked, that he has options and he can bounce it if he wants. But Gail coming around that corner, not getting blocked, kind of forced the uh, hand of the quarterback to turn it up. And they're going to go to those uh, those post and outs. Uh, well, we're walking up on them, but we're not He's across the middle wide open. 
Oh, should have. Mm. Wow. That would have been nice if we'd have picked that. Fourth down. All right. So here we go. Fourth and about 12. Wildcats will punt. Yeah, Paige doesn't. I mean, uh, Gail doesn't need to go far back. No. He needs to stay right there. Quit going yeah. backwards. Stay, stay right there. Come up. Come, Come up. up. He, he needs to be 25 yards. Yeah, he didn't kick the oh, ball. Oh, now that should be a uh, procedure. Yeah. Right Boy, it'd be nice to get us a punt and return here, for a touchdown. Here's the thing. Never in high school would I have my kid line directly up on the punter. Uh, in this situation where they're on the far half, he needs to be more in the middle of the field. A, 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 a terrible punt is going to go to the kicker's right, which is his left. Mm -hmm. He's got the big part of the field to the right. The kicker is going to more than likely push this one to the right. Now, if he does do that, pull it, it's just going to go out of bounds. See? If he does pull it, it's usually going to be short and left. So you can, you're not going to get that even if you're lined up right. So play for the shank, and then you catch that, and you're on the wide side. It's, you're gone. Yeah. You know, and in that situation, down by two scores, all that. You know, right now, I, you know, I don't know if we got a two-man offense or four-minute offense package put in this early in the season. Well, you got 621 left. But I would uh, – you call three plays and get up there and run them. Well, and we're not a passing team, so yeah. I think what you're saying is pretty much out. We're not going to throw it uh, this early in the year for any consistency. All right, timeout, timeout. We'll take a break and be back after this. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan and Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact attorneys Kevin Horan, Brad Dagenau, Jimmy Powell, or Payne Horan at 226-2185. Or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. Midtown Auto Parts, your CarQuest dealer in Water Valley, has the parts you need for light and heavy-duty vehicles, custom-made hydraulic hoses for the farm, and heavy-duty equipment. Three- and four-wheeler parts and small-engine parts, too. Midtown turns brakes and rotors. Check out their full line of K&N air filters. Midtown Auto Parts in the middle of downtown Water Valley is now open 6.30 a.m. till 6 p.m., six days a week. It's Midtown Auto Parts, the real parts store. Complete body repair. They do headliner replacement, vinyl top replacement, air conditioner repair, lockout service, and most any other body repair your vehicle would need. Luke's Body Shop has 24-hour towing. Free estimates for any job. Ask about their coast-to-coast -coast carports, buildings, and garages. When you're in need of body repair, take your vehicle to Luke's Body Shop, South Main Street in Water Valley. Open weekdays 8 till 5. Blue Devils have the ball first and 10 from their own 40. Trey gets it running around near side. He better hurry. He's got Chase coming. Oh, wow. No, we got to get first. Miles has to get first block. He, he's got to he's, – Miles ran right by the yeah. first block. He's got to he's gotta, he's gotta see that linebacker coming over and uh, take him out because if he does, Trey goes a long way on that play. You know, he's into the secondary – Immediately, if we just block that one guy, Miles has got to see that guy coming out. Now they got another cramp. Yeah, good. That Gee gives us a timeout. I think it's just helping them. I mean, they're getting a timeout too. That's letting the mm -hmm. other guys breathe and uh, yeah, like like get ready for the next play. Like Ole Miss did at Tennessee. All right, let's take a, a quick break, and we'll be back right after they get this guy off the field. You're watching Blood Over Football. Seven Oaks Funeral Home has been a tradition in Yalabusha County for over a century. A full-service funeral home with an outstanding and friendly staff. 
Seven Oaks offers that extra touch with a Celebration of Life memorial tribute video and custom-made bulletins. Lock in today's prices. Speak with one of their many pre-need counselors. Stop by or call 473-2363. Seven Oaks Funeral Home at the intersection of Highways 7 and 32. There was a time when integrity really mattered. At Farm Bureau Insurance, it still does. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. See agents Bradley Brown, Chuck Upchurch, and Brad Emery. All right, folks, we're back. 551 left in the contest. Carter Bell's got a second and 10. Trey's back looking to pass. Oh, now he's going to pull it down and run. Oh, don't oh, cut man. it back. You, it's you against the lineman, Trey. Beat that guy and go. Trey, it's you against the lineman. Run him. That's right. Pull it down. Take off. Get out of the sideline. Yes. Beat him to the corner, two, and you two, got 15 yards. Yeah, two steps. and he There was a, nobody. Yeah. Nobody down the sideline. He had a first down at least. Oh, we're going to have a long talk Monday morning. No, Tuesday morning. We're out Monday. Labor Day. Yeah, I took off. I took off today from work. You got a four-day weekend. I did. Somebody, I saw somebody. It's a holiday, and they said, "Well, it ain't, it's, that's Monday." I said, "No, it's first first football game for the Blue Devils." Trey's looking to throw. He throws it over the middle. He's got Dez. Oh, Dez! Oh, now, how is that not targeting? Helmet to helmet collision on Dez, think, and uh, no call. I think the Independence guy got the worst of that. Was that not helmet to helmet? What it looked like to me. Now it's fourth and ten. Dez should have caught that, though. Yeah, he's right off his Yeah, hit him right in his hands. He's got to catch that ball, tuck it, and curl. Tuck it and curl, and, you, and you'll, you'll be safe like 90% of the time. If he catches that ball, turns back into it, and curls up and goes down, you had the first down. Yeah. We have a timeout. All right, timeout on the field. We'll take a break. Be back after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool Makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. At Yalabusha General Hospital, we're not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We're not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. Blue Devils fourth and ten. Got to do something here. Butler in motion. Line all blocked down. Trey's going to go up to – oh, Gabe's got to go up and catch that. Oh, pick. Go to the other side of the field. Get him six. Oh, there's a flag. I don't know what that is. That pass is on It's post-possession, whatever it is on the – no, Trey just threw a duck, and it wasn't tipped or anything. He just threw a duck, and it was short. I think it confused Gabe, and the DB had sight on it. So he was already back in position on Gabe. He had his head turned looking for the ball. That's uh, In that case, you better throw a perfect pass. Goodness. Yeah, they just got to take this game and learn from it. I mean, wow. there's a lot to learn from this game. So they, one of the positive things, they, you know, the the team looks like overall it's in pretty good shape as far as conditioning. Just, yeah.
All right. Need a cheap one. Quarterback's got it going the other way. That boy just got out of Donovan's way. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> he tried to block him. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I'm a, it's, and it's smart, too. This late in the game, why? Yeah. Why get killed this late in the game? Winning by two touchdowns. Let your quarterback run him down the field. Oh, goodness. Picked up about four on the play, second and six. Four minutes and three seconds left in the contest. Clock's running. Hand it off. Somebody was in the backfield. That's Donovan. Slung him around. Now he's running around behind the ref saying, blow the whistle, blow the whistle, blow the whistle. <laughs> Tackle the ref, <laughs> like little please. giants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tackle the ref and uh, is that Donovan on the ground? Oh, great. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't look serious. I probably, think he's just probably tired. pissed off more than anything. Maybe need some water. Yeah, he's just, he's tired. He's been running all game. Maybe got a little bit of a cramp. Yeah, he's yeah, got a little cramp. That's what it is. He's cramping. Uh, him putting on that weight, I figured he would cramped earlier than this. Uh, third and long for the uh, Wildcats. Maybe we can get the ball back for at least some, one more offensive series. Make a punt, punt from deep down here. Anything can happen. Spread in the field. Oh, Parker, baby. No, that's Tyler. That's twice they get Tyler. Yeah. What? No. Don't do that. Don't. Mm -mm. I wouldn't be surprised that quarterback do a quarterback draw. Yeah. It'd be the smart thing. He's for watching him to do. that clock yeah. click down inside of 10. Looking to throw it. He's got a guy wide open. Step on his guy. Man. Man he's just toying with us. Seven. It's all in the 15 yard line. That's yeah. uh, 85 yards, yeah. brother. 85-yard touchdown pass. Eighty-five. Ball was on the fifteen. Goodness gracious. Two thirty nine left in the contest. This is not good. I think uh, Bob was saying one of the breaks that uh, last time we had lost back to back games against the Wildcats was back in uh, eighty four, eighty five. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I just figured with the talent we had, we, we would not. It, it, I mean, I thought if, if we if we failed tonight, it'd be pretty close. But uh, we had been exposed in the secondary. That's a pretty decent kick. I think it was barely inside. Yeah. So the PAT is good. That brings the score 37 to 15, 239 to play. Uh, we'll take a break and be back for kickoff right after this. As a hometown bank. Bank First is proud to offer top-notch banking products with perks that support local businesses. 
and people who support their communities. We believe our towns, no matter the size, deserve the best, the best products and the best customer service, an experience we all deserve. We're hometown banking at its best. Do you bank with us? You should. Turnage Drugstore, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drugstore on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. Fourth quarter action, 2.39 to go in the game. Independence just went up 37 to 15. Blue Devils are waiting to kick off. And just now, just now we've got Buford and uh, our return guys up short, and then they go shorter. you got to get on that ball. The way that kid should not, uh-uh. Yeah. -uh. Nope. you got to catch that ball. Quit being, mm -mm. Catch it, baby. You're going to get hit one way or the other. You might as well catch it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Run up there, catch that thing. to right now. Gabe comes across and catches it. Nice catch. Held on to the ball with the hit. Yeah, first down. Good catch. Just slipped in behind Parker. It's twice we've kind of done that with him or uh, Richardson. Kind of used Parker as a deep decoy. Got him down there and stretched the field out. Come in behind him. Horse collar. We get blew up on the line that time by a guy that's cramped five times. Second about 21. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Peyton lucky he didn't get a penalty. <laughs> yeah. Look at what the guy said to him there. Yeah. Throwing that one. Somebody didn't go where they wanted to or supposed to or bad throw one. I don't know. One eighteen to play. Parker can't get his big butt up. It won't be too bad tonight, but you wake up in the morning, you're going to be 
feeling that. I know I would. <laughs> We've seen a few officials get taken out over the years. Yeah, I saw one. My nephew was playing for Lafayette, and they run a play, and it was the umpire right, by, right there with the linebackers. And my nephew was playing center, and he hit him, and he, and he staggered. And he, he got up. And, and then they run the exact same play again, and the exact same thing happened again mm -hmm. after the game. My, my brother asked him, he said, did you mean to do that? He said, no. He said, he just got my way twice. Yeah, no part of the grass. All right, that should do it. Yep. Yep. All right. Well. All right, 13, 12, 11. All right, 2, 1. All right, that's the ball game. Independence 37, Water Valley 15. We'll take a break. When we get back, it'll be time to do the uh, score summary. Summary brought to you by the law offices of Tommy Defer. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Black & Associates PA provides outstanding service to their clients because of their dedication. By combining their expertise, experience, and the energy of their staff, each client receives close personal and professional attention. They provide total financial services to individuals and large and small businesses. If you are looking for a blend of personal service and expertise, you have come to the right place. Joe Black & Associates. The law office of Tommy DeFar, PLLC at 111 Cowden Street has been serving Water Valley for over 20 years. DeFar Law Office has been helping thousands of clients in various types of civil and criminal cases across the state. Let Tommy DeFar and Will Phillips help you with your legal issues. Bobby Clark Field opening night for the 2024 20, season and it, what didn't go well for the Blue Devils, 37-15 to 15 in favor of the Wildcats. It's time now for the scoring summary brought to you by Tommy DeFar Law Offices and uh, Rick, tell us how it went down. Well, the Blue Devils actually scored first at the seven-minute mark of, of the first quarter on a six-yard touchdown run by Bradford. PAT was good by Butler, put the score at seven to zero. Then at the 355 mark of the first quarter, Independence scored on a 55-yard touchdown pass, and the but the PAT was blocked, so put the score Water Valley seven, Independence six. The second quarter at the 830 mark, Water Valley had a safety due to the snap over our punter's head and Independence took their first lead of the night at 8-7 uh, to 557 mark of the second quarter Independence had a 12 yard touchdown pass and then they had a uh, two point uh, conversion and it put the score at 7-16 to 16 Independence then in the second quarter at the 136 mark Independent uh, or Water Valley had a four-yard touchdown run by Adams, and then we had a two-point pass from Richardson to Turnage. It was 16 to 15 Independence. 17 second mark. There was a 51-yard touchdown pass by Independence, and the PAT uh, pass was no good. The score is 22 to 15 Independence. Then in the third quarter, no time on the clock. Independence had 55-yard. Touchdown run, and then a two-point conversion pass put the score at 30 to 15. And then later on in the fourth quarter, with just two minutes and 39 seconds to play, they had an 85-yard touchdown pass and kicked the extra point, put the final score Independence 37, Water Valley 15. Well, here, here's the. Here, I'm gonna say it this way, and I told the kids earlier this way. Y'all are gonna be good when you figure it out that you're good, because here's the way I, I see it. 
we came out and we played some good football the first four uh, the four uh, first four uh, teams we put on the field yeah two offense and two defense and it only got bad after we had that first uh, penalty turn of bad luck you know you can say was it blocked was it not blocked and you know was it roughing the kicker I don't know it doesn't matter the problem is we responded awfully horrible after that it and we started it, it was a domino effect it just got worse and worse and worse and then no adjustments were made in the uh, at the half and we came out uh, and at the one point in the second half it looked like man they were cramping up they couldn't keep a team out there and it, you, you were just thinking, okay, here it goes. Here's where we, we come over the top and we put them away. Yeah. And we just fell apart. We, we moved the ball down the field and then go backwards three plays. They When, when we first started playing ball, they Independence was not confident that they could beat Water Valley. They, you know, yeah. and we did things to keep them in the game in the very beginning of, 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 of uh, in the first quarter. They capitalized on it and they thought, hey, you know, we, you know, we're playing them at home, but we can play with them. And then we just never could stop making mistakes. Yeah, and, and I'm going to tell you, if, if I was handing out grades in the first quarter, I give offense an A, defense an A, and uh, everybody did well, right? And then in the second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter, it was ugly, man. Uh, our tackling was – I can't even say it without uh, getting bleeped. You know, <laughs> it, we, we did not tackle well at all. We've got to fix that. And yeah, I think you, we fixed that. That's that's a huge help. Number two, uh, we've got to cut out the penalties. That's the that's that's huge. Three, we got to figure out uh, how to how to pass protect, how to uh, or not pass protect, but our DBs have got to figure out how to guard somebody and and keep yeah, they, the long they, ball out of there. They got to start need that. chucking some people in the line of scrimmage. You just can't let them run free because once they run free, they they got the whole field to run to and and. You know, in high school ball, a quarterback, he's he's just throwing the ball up and they run into it and catching it. Very few are they actually making a break and and catching the ball on the break. Well, the way they were playing offense, it should have been delightfully easy for us to pick four or five balls. And we exactly. should have dropped two, yeah. uh, maybe three. Um, we just did not do well in the secondary today at all. It was and it got worse. We, we got to work on some tackling on defense. Uh, you know, watch you know in our, our our pass defense and uh, it's got too many guys getting behind us and you know just running running open and, and we got to yeah. try to knock them off their routes. Well, as far as Trey goes, Trey Adams goes. I think uh, he just needs more experience. He needs to he needs to be more confident. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just hey. Get what you can get. Be be a beast. That's right. Whenever you decide to run, run. That's right. And uh, you know that's that's what he's he's just missing a little bit of an experience. It, so it, and when you get the chance, hit high gear, hit high gear, and go. Just and run the daylight. On his passes, he's just got to take a little bit more time. Throw in between steps or whatever it is that you can you can really be accurate. Uh, yeah, he'll figure that out. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. Trey's going to grow into a good quarterback. Yeah, he, he threw a couple good passes tonight. We, you know, you know, a few. He, he drilled a couple right. right down there, and that's yeah, that's there the were thing. Some bright spots there. They, but we just got to get our, you know, just they just got to stay positive and just right. build on this. And uh, you know, usually when you have a bad game, you know, you got film to look at and to learn from. So when you have a good game, when you win forty nothing, you don't have anything to build from as far as game film. So yep. All right. Well, we'll take a break. When we get back, we'll talk about next week's opponent. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Midtown Auto Parts, your CarQuest dealer in Water Valley, has the parts you need for light and heavy-duty vehicles, custom-made hydraulic hoses for the farm, and heavy-duty equipment. Three- and four-wheeler parts and small engine parts, too. Midtown turns brakes and rotors. Check out their full line of K&N air filters. Midtown Auto Parts in the middle of downtown Water Valley is now open 6.30 a.m. till 6 p.m., six days a week. It's Midtown Auto Parts, the real parts store. There was a time when integrity really mattered. At Farm Bureau Insurance, it still does. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. See agents Bradley Brown, Chuck Upchurch, and Brad Emery. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the industrial park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. 
All right, folks, we're back and wrapping this thing up. Uh, next week, the Blue Devils will again be home, and uh, North Pontot will be coming to play. And I uh, want to invite everybody to come on out and support the Devils. I'm going to tell you what, they if, if, if anything else, they need support this year because they just need that confidence, and they need the crowd and the support to help boost that confidence. And uh, I'm going to tell you, I think that's a very big key for them this year if they, they keep seeing the stands full and, and, and feel the support from us. That's right. That, that support means a lot. You know, I played in football here at Water Valley. And, you know, you look up there and, say, you know, you can get motivated by that crowd, you know. In a second. And, Especially and if they're rowdy. We got some tough games coming up. North, North Potters, like they're, they're 4-H still, right? You know, so, you know, they, they, they're a good team. And there's some more teams that's going to be coming in there that's good. And, and we just need to get out and support them, you know. It's uh, it's it's our team. It's the team that we got representing our town. Yeah, so and I, I'm gonna tell you this: our coaches, we've got a good, good veteran crew of coaches. I mean, Coach Faust and, and Coach Russo and Coach Mix and all them, Coach Rusty. I mean, man, they they know what they're doing. They're pros, and and they're gonna get it going. They're gonna get it going. They just need the kids to buy in and believe. Right. And uh, it's hard to do that if there's nobody showing up. So everybody needs to come out and support these kids next Friday night, Bobby Clark Field. So uh, cheerleaders, band, yeah. come on out and support all of them. All right. So that'll be it for uh, Rick Jenkins and Bob Murphy. I'm Steve Lindsay. We'll see you all next week at home as we take on North Pontotoc. See you then. <laughs>